Hallelujah. Control. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Good morning, people of God. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid, bearing all my sin and shame. In love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for the nail-pierced hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're just thanking God this morning. Thanking him for going to the cross for our sins. You and I, we are but guilty, but almighty God took the place for all of us because he loves us so. And so this morning, let it be a spirit of thankfulness to him in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to welcome one and all to another fasting service. Whether you're right here on spot at Three Water Lane, welcome. Whether you're viewing us on YouTube, welcome. You might be listening to us on More FM. Welcome to another fasting service. To God be the glory. To God be the praise. He has kept us. And guess what? It is almost at the end of which month? March 2024. To God be the praise. He has kept us to this point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we come this morning, let us not look on each other. We know our situations that has brought us here. And so at this time, we are going to go straight into the devotional exercise. So I invite you, my brothers and sisters, visiting friends, to just stand at this time as we are going to consecrate ourselves before Almighty God. Hallelujah. 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 The hymn that we are going to be looking at is hymn number 410. But I invite you at this time to the altar. Let us just consecrate ourselves. We need to go to God, blemish free. And so as we come, whether you are saved or unsaved, I invite you at this time at the altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Search me, O oh God. And know my heart, I pray. Try me, O oh Savior. Know my thoughts, I pray. See, there be. Some weak ways in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As we talk to Almighty God this morning, just reflect on Psalm 51, verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. What a time to ask God to renew a right spirit in us. Good Friday is just two days away. And so at this time, let us just consecrate ourselves before Almighty God. Merciful Father, glorious God, we honor your awesome name this morning. God Almighty, we come to you. I come to you this morning, oh God, just but flesh. 
God, I pray this morning that you will sanctify this body from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet this morning. God Almighty, I am unworthy before you, but God, this morning I want to come into your presence. And so, God, I ask that you will wash me this morning with Isop. Oh, God, cleanse every doubt, everything that is negative, Almighty God, in this Almighty God heart. Oh, God, I pray that you will wash, you will scrub, Almighty God, and you will pour into me this morning. You will pour into us this morning, Almighty God, your spirit. When your spirit is with us, Almighty God, all is well. And so, God, we want to be at that place where all is well, Almighty God, with you. And so, God, as we come to you this morning, wash us. Cleanse us, Almighty God. Oh, God, forgive us. Forgive us of those sins that we have committed, Almighty God, even to the point of walking into your house this morning. God Almighty, those that we know of, those, God, that we are unaware of, God, but, God, because of this sinful flesh, we have sinned and come short of your glory. And so, God, we ask that you will cleanse us, that in your presence, God, there will be fullness of joy. In your presence, God, there will be pleasures forevermore. And so, God, remember the unsaved that are among us. Oh, God, they too have something to say. Oh, God, they too, Almighty God, need to come to know you. And so, God, we ask that everyone that enters this house, Almighty God, this morning, that you will cleanse them, you will wash them. Let praise be easy this morning, God. Because, God, when your praises go up, oh, God, our blessings will come down. And so, God, we ask that you will wash everyone that will walk through these doors. Oh, God, remember, oh, God, those who are online, those who are listening by airwave, Almighty God, I pray that you'll remember them. They, too, Almighty God, are with us. They, too, Almighty God, are calling on you. And so, God, wherever their location this morning, we ask that you will visit them. Cleanse them, God. Oh, God, purify us, Almighty God, that we will give you all the praise all the honor, and you will be glorified today in all that we do, in all that we say. We thank you, God. We thank you, Almighty God, for hearing us. We thank you, Almighty God, for coming through. We believe and we hold on to that today, that you will come through for us in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will now go to him, 410. Hallelujah. In the cross, in the cross, be Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we exalt the name of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a precious flood. Oh, 
shall find rest beyond the river. Never was a trembling soul. Love and mercy found me. soul shall find rest beyond the river. Hallelujah. 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 Our scripture comes to us this morning from St. Luke chapter 23 and I'll read from verses 13 to 29. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. And Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people said unto them, Yea, have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people. And behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in this man touching those things whereof he accused him. No, nor yet, Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, Nothing worthy of death is done unto him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. For of necessity, he must release one unto them at the feast. 
And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and released unto us Barabbas, whom, who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast into, the, into prison. Pilate, therefore, willing to release Jesus, spake again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil hath he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise him and let him go. And they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and, uh, and of the chief priests prevailed. And Pilate gave sentence that, is, that it should be as they required. And he released unto them him that for sedition and murder was cast into prison, whom they had desired. But he delivered Jesus to their will. And as they led him away, they led hold upon one Simon, a, Syri a Syrian, com coming out of the country. And on him they laid the cross, uh, that he might bear it after Jesus. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves for your and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that, and the womb that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then said they, be, begin to say to the mountains, fall on us and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? And there were also two others, male factors, led with him to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors on one the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, saying, he save others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the, the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. 39, and of the male factors which were handed railed unto him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. This is the word of the Lord, we say, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray at this time for prayer of confession, repentance, and thanksgiving we are in fasting and so the flesh the flesh is always guilty of something and so we know that we came to the altar and we prayed before almighty God but here we are another time he is never tired of hearing from us so at this time we are going to pray for confession repentance and thanksgiving hallelujah 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 let us pray. Merciful Father, we honor your awesome name this morning. We thank you, Almighty God, for who you are. We thank you, God, that you are never tired of hearing from us. 
And so, God, as your children come to you another time, in your presence, Almighty God, we bring but ourselves before you this morning. God Almighty, we come, God, knowing that we have sinned and come short of your glory. But, God, because you are merciful, you have kept us, God, even to open our mouths this morning to give you praise and to give you honor. And so, God, we repent before you this morning. God Almighty, we know the things that we have done before you, that God, you are not pleased of. And so, God, we put them out, God Almighty, before you this morning. We ask you that you will wash us once more. We ask you that you will cleanse us, God. We ask you that you will forgive us, God Almighty. Oh, God, there are so many things, Almighty God, that we have done. We have, oh, God, backbited against each other. Oh, God, we have come up against our friends. Oh, God, our neighbors, our family members, Almighty God. And we know, God, that it is not right. So, God, we place them at your feet this morning in repentance. Oh, God, we repent ourselves before you, God, for all that we have done, Almighty God, that is unjust to each other, that is unjust, Almighty God, before you. And so, God, as we come in repentance this morning, we ask that you will forgive us. Wash us. Wash us this morning with this up, God, that everyone that steps through these doors, Almighty God, will be cleansed by your Holy Spirit. God Almighty, remember, oh God, forgive us. Forgive us, Almighty God, once more. God Almighty, we give you praise this morning. We thank you, God, for life. We are giving you praise, God, because you deserve it this morning. We are thanking you, God, for your mercies. We are thanking you, God, that you have kept us to walk into your house this morning. We are thanking you, God, that you have kept our family members, God. Oh, God, to come to you another time. We are thanking you, Almighty God, that you stood, oh, God, on that cross in our place. Oh God, we give you praise. We give you honor this morning and we thank you God for your mercies towards us. God Almighty, we are but filthy rags before you. And so God, as we come this morning, God Almighty, we ask on your presence this morning. We ask God that you will just dwell with us. We ask God that you will just wash us. We ask God that we, our deeds will not hinder your praise this morning. God Almighty, as we come, we lift ourselves to you this morning. And we give it to you this morning, God. Pour it to us this morning, your Holy Spirit. Let us not be just spectators this morning. We know our needs, God. We know our situations, God. And so we place them before you this morning. We ask God that you will forgive us. We ask God that you will come through for us. Oh God, we give you praise. We give you honor this morning. We lift you up on high, Almighty God. Who is there greater than you this morning? God Almighty, we can't look to friends. We can't look to neighbors. We can't look to family members, God. Oh, God, there are times when situations get the best of us. Oh, God, and when you, oh, God, have kept us, oh, God, we can rejoice and say, thank you, God. You have kept us through that situation. And so, God, as we come this morning, we want to thank you once more. We want to thank you for the blessing that is ahead. We want to thank you, Almighty God, for life. We want to thank you, Almighty Almighty God, for your mercies. Oh God, let today be a blessing. Let somebody speak of your goodness today this morning, Almighty God. Let somebody testify of your goodness this morning, Almighty God. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we constantly done in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Let us all repeat the Our Father prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever, and ever, and ever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. You have something to big up God about this morning. Just give a wave offering in the atmosphere. You have something to give God glory about this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He deserves our praises. If you don't understand, he deserves it. And there's one thing I can say to you this morning. Take care of God's business. You are here in his house this morning. And we thank God that you have made the sacrifice to be in his house. And so as we are taking care of his business, we are claiming it that he will take care of our business today. Hallelujah. 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 To God be the praise. To God be the glory. We are going to join the praise team at this time in singing some wonderful praises to Almighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Shall we exalt the name of the Lord? Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hallelujah to the most high God. Hallelujah. It was the blood that reached my heart. It was the blood that reached my heart. Oh, I, I will sing and will shout. shout.
Alléluia. 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 Just give a wave offering, man. Just give a wave offering to Almighty God. Hallelujah. He deserves it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your cleansing blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We are all in the presence of our Almighty God this morning. And so I want to officially welcome one and all in his presence. Hallelujah. Whether you're visiting from near or far, whether you're a member here, hallelujah. Welcome to the house of the Lord another time. I just want to acknowledge the leadership of this church. And you know who is the leadership? It is headed by our bishop, Bishop Ruel Robinson. And so we acknowledge him this morning. Hallelujah. We want to acknowledge our members, the musician, the praise team. Almighty God, we want to acknowledge the multimedia team who is here with us. And also those who are viewing us on YouTube. Welcome. If you're a first timer on YouTube, I just want you to put it in the chat that I am a first timer. And I am feeling welcome, Almighty God. I'm feeling welcome. Yeah, man, just put it in the chat that you are feeling welcome to the house of the Lord this morning. We welcome you. Welcome more FM listeners. Another time you're joining us, it might be your first time. Welcome to Three Water Lane, Montego Bay, fasting service. Hallelujah. At the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God. Hallelujah. Tell a friend to tell a friend that you are all welcome to the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God. Anytime that we are having our services, the doors are wide open for you to come in and worship with us. If you are a visitor, you are not from this congregation, I'm just going to ask you to give me a wave offering. Just wave in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Welcome. I am sure you came with your cups up. And so just believe by faith faith you will receive believe that whatever it is whether you're saved or unsaved just give it all to almighty god today and i'm sure there's a blessing that awaits you hallelujah you're a member here just wave man just wave you're welcome in the house of the lord another time another wednesday let me tell you many tried and wanted to be here. Some are even now maybe on the hospital bed and they are listening or watching. And so, guess what? Some are at work. Some are all over the place. You are in the presence of the Lord, live and direct. And so, I welcome you to the house of the Lord. If there are any other official uh, ministers or Anyone else, you're, you're very much an official in the house of the Lord. Welcome. Until we get your name, I will officially welcome you. So welcome one and all. At this time, we want to just touch each other this morning and pronounce a blessing upon somebody. Just tell them, man, today is your day. Today is your day. Just tell somebody, today is your day. Believe it. Speak it in the atmosphere that today, and you are trusting God with them. Just don't touch them and not even look on them, you know. You are trusting God with them that today is their day. Hallelujah. Welcome, my brothers and sisters. And for those who don't know, I am Sister Natalie Garwood. Yes, your moderator for today. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Our mission statement at the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God exists to win people to the kingdom of God and to disciple them for Christ, to be a loving, caring family to which people would desire to belong, to engage in meaningful worship in which people encounter God, and to become a fellowship of mature believers who are committed to service both in church and in the wider world. We can tick all of them because I'm sure that as a church, we are trying to, to do all of those. And that is why we exist. To God be the praise. 
to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite the praise team to come back right here. And we are going to just sing one song. Right? And that song should minister to all of us and should minister to you as you give praise unto Almighty God. And right after, I'm going to, we are going to do another intercessory prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We are giving God thanks for Calvary this morning. Come on, shout hallelujah in the sanctuary. Give the Lord the highest praise in the sanctuary this morning. He's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the honor this morning. He's worthy of all the glory. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for Calvary. Thank him for his son. Thank God who lives in me. I was so
Hallelujah. 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 You know, every time I hear that song, you know, tears comes to my eyes. When you think of sin and where you are, you are no longer in sin. You just have to just shed some tears before God. Thank you for saving me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we are going to be praying. We are going to be praying for deliverance from drug abuse against mental illness. You know, every time, every week, we, we will bring this one in particular against mental illness. It is growing. It is spreading rapidly. So many of us are not bringing our situations to Almighty God and leaving it right there. We take it upon ourselves and then internalize and many things unfold. Mental illness, drug abuse. You, it might not be you. You might have a friend, a relative, and you know it is all because of sin. And so we are going before Almighty God once more, once more. He's never tired of hearing from us. And so we are going to pray at this time. Hallelujah. 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 Almighty God, once more, once more, God, we come to you. We acknowledge you, Almighty God, as the supreme being. We acknowledge you, Almighty God, for who you are. You are the great as there is, Almighty God. You are, oh God, Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Nissi. And so, God, as we come to you this morning, we come once more, Almighty God, not on our behalf, Almighty God. It might be, Almighty God, for a friend, for a family member. And so, God, as we put these situations before you this morning, Almighty God, mental illness, drug abuse, God Almighty, we don't have to look far. Oh, God, our natural eyes can see that, God, our family members who are wrapped up in sin. Oh God Almighty are tied up. Oh God mentally. Oh God they are not stable. Oh God Almighty they are taking things Almighty God. The drugs. Oh God that is against your will Almighty God. They are doing these things Almighty God that is taking away the normal oh God the function of the brain. Oh God the normal operation Almighty God that the Almighty God they are using it Almighty God and it is bringing them to a place, God, where they have no control over self. No control, Almighty God, over what they will do. Oh, God, and so we bring them before you this morning. Oh, God, we bring our family members. Oh, God, those that we are here, oh, God, calling out, oh, God, their names. Oh, God, we know them. We know, God, that they are not mentally stable. God Almighty, whatever situation that have brought them to that point, we ask, Almighty God, that you will just step in. Oh, God, we ask, Almighty God, that you just ride in. Oh, Oh God, we ask that you, Almighty God, will bring back, oh God, the purpose that you set out for them, God. Oh God, you will bring back, God, their to normal sin, Almighty God, their brain capacity. God Almighty, let them think straight. Let them walk straight, Almighty God. Oh God, so many things, Almighty God, can happen, oh God, when these persons take drugs. Oh God, we have students. Oh God, we have our children, Almighty God, who see other children taking it and God they are speaking things oh God that is not normal and so God some of them want to be on the high some of them want to be among oh God the friends who are taking it and so God they go ahead and they take it oh God but again God the normalcy of the brain oh God go out of operation and so God we ask you at this time that you will cover our children those who are not yet caught up with this situation God you will cover them Oh God, you will build a wall of protection around them. God Almighty, remember those that we are calling about this morning. Oh God, it might be our father. It might be our uncle. It might be our aunt, Almighty God. It might be our cousin. It might be our neighbor, God. When you see them, oh God, drink these things. Oh God, and take this, oh God. Ganja or, or cannabis, God, whatever it may be. Oh, God, you know that they're not going to operate normal. And so, God, we ask at this time that you will cover, oh, God, 
cover them. Oh God, pull them out of that situation this morning. God Almighty, we ask you that you will step in. We are asking it, God. And we know that there's nothing too hard for you to do. And so we are believing, God, to asking this morning, you will come true for us. God, those who are in hearing of my voice this morning, God Almighty, somebody might be listening on the radio and they are an addict. Oh God, somebody might be watching on YouTube and they are an addict. God Almighty, we put the bloodline over them this morning. We ask that, that you will cover them this morning. We ask God that you will walk in this morning. Some want to stop, Almighty God. Some want to step away from it, God. But it feels nice. Oh God, it's all good. Oh God Almighty, give them, oh God, power. But God, we are asking that only you, oh God, they should feel nice in. Only you, almighty God, should give them that power to trump upon the devil. Oh God, and so this morning, we ask that you will step in, almighty God, and you will capture, oh God, those mental spaces. Almighty God, sprinkle your blood, oh God, flush out. Oh God, those illnesses. Oh God, and we ask God that it is done. It is done. It is done in your name this morning. We have asked Almighty God and we are believing Almighty God. We are not just showing words this morning. We know our neighbor. We know our friend. We know the family member that is going through this mental situation. Oh God Almighty, whatever have brought them to that space. God Almighty, only you know. Oh God, and so God, we ask you, God, that you will be a comforter to them. Oh God, you will be a peacemaker to them. Almighty God, you will be a problem solver to them. Oh God, you will just step in. Step in this morning, Almighty God. Step in. We are calling on you from Three Water Lane to step in in the situation, the mental health situation, Almighty God. Oh God, it's spread wide and far. Not only in Montego Bay, not only in Kingston, not only in Jamaica. God Almighty, some persons, oh God, are watching things on the internet that has captured their minds. They have no control over what they do. They have no control over what they say. Oh God, technology is good. But God, how oh, it is used, God. Oh God, on our days, God, it is taking, oh God, control of our children, of, of this nation. And so, God, the bullying and all those elements, God, that has pushed persons, God, to even commit suicide. We, Almighty God, put your bloodline on it this morning. Oh, God, that whoever is hearing this voice this morning, God, once they are using the internet, oh, God, we claim it, that it will be used for the purpose of goodness, to bring glory, to bring honor to your awesome name. God Almighty, we claim our children, Almighty God, in the, oh God, the virtual space. Almighty God, they shall not be among those who are bullied. They shall not be the bully, Almighty God, but they, God, they will use the space for your glory and for your honor, Almighty God. We look to you this morning. We look to you, God. There are many things and many elements that we have not asked of you. But God, you know the situation. You know the mental situation. You know the drug situation, God. And so, God, we are just coming to you in your presence. And we are saying this morning, look on them. Look on the many situations this morning. And Almighty God, just deliver your people. Deliver your people and claim the victory. Claim the glory. In Jesus' awesome name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 We have the victory because we serve a big, mighty, wonderful, awesome God. We have the victory. And all it takes is for us to believe. Just believe this morning that as you go before Almighty God, whatever you ask, he shall grant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to 
welcome our guest preacher today. He is definitely no stranger to Montego Bay New Testament Church of God. And I speak of Bishop Arthur Grant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good to have him in the house this morning. Never tired of hearing from the man of God. A man with wisdom, knowledge, and speak, thus says God. Never tired of hearing from him. Some might say, a long time in the boat. But guess what? I'm still strong and mighty. And God is still using him. Hallelujah. Welcome, Bishop. Welcome to the house of the Lord. At this time, we are going to have a short speaker coming to us. Sister Brittany Ann Brown at this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. How many of you believe we serve a faithful God? Hallelujah. Let's take a minute and worship God for his faithfulness. He is a faithful God and he is faithful in his promises. And we just want to give him all the glory for that. Amen. Amen. I want greetings to the household of faith. A pleasant morning to you all. I'll be speaking on the topic of radical faith for the next 10 minutes. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Amen. Amen. I just want to greet Bishop and his family in, in his absence and to the guest speaker that is Evangelist Arthur Grant. Greetings to you, sir. So please search in your Bibles for Genesis 12, verse 1 to 5. And we'll be reading from the King James Version. I'm going to ask everyone to kindly stand as we read the word of God. So that is Genesis 12, verses 1 to 5. When you've found it, please say, found it. <laughs> And it reads thus, And the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. Five and last. And Abram took Sarai his wife and Lot his brother's son and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. This is the reading of God's word. We honor it by saying, Amen. Amen. Someone say radical faith. Now, if you're believing in this season for some, some faith, just say it one more time. Radical faith. Radical faith. Amen. Often we are told to have faith in God and his promises made to us. However, I think we can all agree that this is easier said than done. Amen. We just read about one man who was known to have demonstrated great faith. There is something for us all to learn from Abraham. He was a man who put faith into action. It is one thing for us to have faith in words. As Bishop Robinson described in Bible study, 
to be passive faith. And it is another thing to put that faith into action and demonstrate active faith. Now, somebody who understands what I'm saying, just go ahead and worship God. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, I was a person who struggled greatly with faith. I don't know how many of you here in this sanctuary or those watching online today are like me, or maybe it's just me alone. But on multiple occasions, God had to put me in tough situations to strengthen my faith. And it would only take another battle or a change of circumstance for me to forget all about that I learned and to start doubting again. We want to say we are people of faith until that faith is truly tested and we must put it into action. Amen? The text tells us that Abraham was a man from the land of the Chaldeans. These people worshipped false gods and acted in the way of his fathers. This man was called out of that idolatrous environment where he knew not the Lord to go into a land he would later receive as his inheritance. Sometimes we must leave certain environments that are not conducive to our faith. Some of us dwell in places that hinders our faith in God, whether it be family members, church cliques, colleagues at work, friendships, like Abraham, some of us did not grow up in Christian homes where we would have seen faith in God. Now, faith in God, because you can have faith in many other things, but faith in God being demonstrated. And Hebrews 12 verse 8 stated that when Abraham called, heard the call, he obeyed and went. And these two words are action words. It was by faith he obeyed and went to the promised land where the seed of faith would physically bloom into the form of his descendants. I could only imagine that it was very difficult for Abraham to leave the gods that he knew to follow a God that at the time was unfamiliar to him into a land he didn't know. Now, brothers and sisters, you know yourselves and you know what God is calling you to do. Now, this is your reminder to not allow your environments to keep you from putting your faith in action. Hallelujah. Now, I think we can all agree that having faith in God is not easy. And sometimes we are faced with things that hinders our faith. Now, after reading this text, two hindrances come to mind. Distance from God in our relationship and doubters. Now, someone say doubters. And this can be yourself or others. Our faith may be weakened the further we are from God. Distance in our relationship with him allows room for the devil to seep in and create doubt. Do not allow the voice of the doubters to be stronger than the voice of God. Amen. Do not allow the voice of the doubters to be stronger than the voice of God. Hallelujah. In this Christian journey, it is important to remember that when walking by faith, not everyone can go with you. Somebody missed that. In this Christian journey, it is important to remember that when walking by faith, not everyone can go with you. So when some people drop off out of the friendship, when some people disappear, when you don't see a certain face, just know that they can't all go with you. We read in verse 5 that Abraham took his wife Sarai, nephew Lot, and the souls won in Haran to go into this new land. Not everybody will support your faith. And it is important to know when to move on without them. Amen. Today I charge you to follow in Abraham's footsteps. 
walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to ask the whole soul of faith to please stand. I'm going to ask the praise team to come and just to sing this song one time. Roll back the curtains of memory now and then. And as we all reflect on this word, we're going to pray. And I'm going to seek the Lord to help us to build up our faith in this season. Hallelujah. Praise team. Roll back the curtain of memories now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where. God in heaven, our God who is the source of our faith, our King, our Lord who sits upon the throne of righteousness. You are holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Your train filled the temple. Mighty God, we just come before you one more time. We just thank you for this word. We thank you for the reminder to have faith in this season. We thank you, God, for the example of Abraham, who was a man of great faith. God, we are only humans. And so, Lord, by being humans, we are limited, God. We sometimes forget that you are our God. You are the one who can do all things and so mighty God I pray in this season over your people God I pray that you will lift up our faith God that you will give us radical faith in this season unwavering God the enemy is out to send out doubters whether it be ourselves whether it be others and so I pray in the name of Jesus our spirit will raise up a standard against him and he has lost this battle one more time I don't know what your people are waiting for you God on I don't know what they're believing you for but God I pray in this season that they will increase their faith mighty God God I pray for a double portion of faith God I pray that you will seep into that place where they have started to doubt you and you will shift it mighty God that you will help them to change their perspective hallelujah God, I pray even now that their spirit is being increased, their faith is being increased. And so, God, I pray for a spirit that is steadfast as we stand upon your word, God. Whatever your promise are, it will not return unto you void, for it is yes and amen. So, mighty God, I give you thanks in this season. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I give you thanks in this season, God. Hallelujah. I give you thanks in this season. Hallelujah. I just thank you, Lord, for everything that you are shifting in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. I give you thanks, mighty God, for the testimonies that are going to come out of this. Hallelujah. I give you thanks, God, for every glory that is to be won, and you shall get it, God, because of our faith is being increased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where we have succumbed to environments that steal our joy and steal our faith and have robbed us from our faith in you, God. I pray in this season that people will walk out of these environments, that they will leave situations that no longer serve them and no longer serve their faith. But God, you will put them into environments. You will elevate them, God, into places places where they will increase their faith in you hallelujah hallelujah you are the mighty God you are the only one that could answer these prayers you are the only one who sees us in our secret place God you know that there is people in this place that is just hanging on to that last thread of hope. That there are some people just waiting on morning to come because this is the darkest part of the night. And so God, I pray God that their morning is coming and I just thank you already. Hallelujah. I just thank you already that you're coming in the morning. I just thank you already for the victory that is to be won one in this season for them God we've seen you do it before but sometimes we forget remind us Lord that you are the same God of Abraham you are the same God of Moses. You are the same God of our yesterday. You are the same God of our last year, our last month, our last victory and you will not leave us nor forsake us in the time that we need you most. We just give you thanks. We lift you up, God. We give you thanks. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for dispatching your angels, God, for making sure that this word is accomplished. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. We lift you up always, God. Hallelujah. We just thank you. We put a praise on it even now, God, for whatever we believe in you for. We put a praise on it and we claim it in this season that the victory is ours and the enemy has lost again in Jesus' name. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory be to God. Encouraging words about the faith that we need to have. We know our mountains. And if we should have faith just as small as a mustard seed, then our mountains will be removed. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Sister Brittany and Brown. And I declare over you, to Almighty God, that wherever you go, may he continue to use you mightily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walk by faith and not by sight. Just continue to believe and you will receive. Hallelujah. 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 We'll now have the second. Today we are so favored to have not just one short speaker, but two. And at this time, I called on Sister Josette Bennett and my brothers and sisters, visiting friends. She is no stranger to us. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, Jesus. 
is the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb. Oh, glory to the Lamb. Oh, glory to the Lamb. Oh, glory. local church and the prayer team, the fasting team, and you know the office helper, hallelujah, who's always helping us with our program, hallelujah. I want to acknowledge our speaker for today, hallelujah, Bishop Arthur Grant, praise the name of the Lord. I want to also greet those who are worshiping with us online, listen to us, and more of them. The Holy Ghost welcomes you. Wherever you are, whichever platform you use is to watch us this morning, we pray and God will deliver. Our sweet saints in Christ who's always been here week after week, our visiting friends, Reverend Malcolm, we just want to bless the Lord for the people of God, the praise team, the musician, multimedia. You continue to worship God. Hallelujah. Give him your whole heart and you'll see what he will do for you hallelujah just want to tell us brethren being obedient with the voice of the lord hallelujah it was the 11th of march hallelujah when the holy ghost woke me up and give me a demonstration to do in fasting praise god and you know brethren i always been obedient to the presence and the spirit of almighty god hallelujah praise god he says to me the significance of the cross the crown of thorns and the nails. Hallelujah. Those of us who know the significance of this that the Lord Jesus has done over 2,000 years ago in reality. That's why we are here today. Hallelujah for the shed blood. Hallelujah. He died and he went to the grave. But this morning, he's no longer on the cross. Neither in the grave. But he's at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. Moreover, he promised the comforter to come to his people. Praise God. St. John 10, and as I read the scripture along, you will get more of that. So, the cross, the crown, the thorns, and the nails. So, you know, it's so much and it's too much, brethren, for me to go through everything. Hallelujah. And to present it in 10 minutes. So, I'm just going to do a, sim, a, a summary on these symbols here as you reflect. Praise God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you 
for your awesome love towards us. Hallelujah. You love us so much. So you died so that we can be free. You died, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and your blood is still powerful today to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Those of us who are willing to accept you by faith, hallelujah, to be our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless your word today. I just stand in the gap, Lord, for you to use me to the honor and to the glory of your name. It's all about you, Jesus. I am nothing before you this morning, but I am willing to be used by you. Have your way, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. The significance of the cross is a reminder of what Jesus Christ did for us. It is a powerful symbol, brethren. Hallelujah. And it reminds us of the price he paid for our redemption. It's important. It is great. It is noticeable. And it's worthy of attention. Hallelujah. 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 So about the cross... In the Eastern Orthodox Church tradition, they hold that the cross was made of cedar, pine, and cypress. In Isaiah 60 and verse 13, you can just see what that verse says towards these three items about the cross. The glory of Lebanon, hallelujah, that pureness of the temple shall come unto thee, the fair tree, the pine tree, the box cypress, hallelujah, together to beautify a place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Hallelujah. So you see the importance of this wood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the, the benefits of the cross, praise God, ours leading to Christ's crucifixion. He spent time alone, praying, reflecting, hallelujah, on what to come and preparing his heart and his mind, hallelujah, through perseverance, courage, humility, self-control, forgiveness, and love. That's our universal language, hallelujah. He loved us so much, praise God. And so St. John 10 and verse 17 and 18. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay down of myself. I have power to lay down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. So you see, it is so important to be obedient to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, glory to God. Therefore... Praise God. Hallelujah. We know this morning, hallelujah, this significance of the cross. It is hard to overestimate the importance of what happened on the cross. At the cross, Jesus dealt, hallelujah, with our sins and freeing us all from sin. I do believe that any event has more. I do not believe that any event other event has more significance than the cross and what took place on that day on Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We will reflect for this holy week on what has taken place. Praise the name of the Lord. We weren't there. Hallelujah. But we believe the word of God. Praise God. Galatians 6. And verse 14, as you know, when you come to fasting and church service, bring your paper, bring, bring your pen, so that you will have your own time of reflection on the verse, the verses. Hallelujah. But God forbid, Paul is saying to us, but God forbid that I should bow, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. Paul is saying here, he has boast in his life, and it's nothing in the world. And we know, hallelujah, all about the story of Paul until he becomes Saul, uh, Saul before he becomes Paul. Only in Christ, and specifically in the cross. So all of us this morning, the only reason we can boast and tell our testimonies is all about the cross of Christ. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Colossians 2, you can read 14 and 15. But let me just give you a little summary of it. We were able to see what was happening in the spiritual realm. Remember, it's over 2,000 years ago we weren't there. When Jesus went to the cross, it viewed through human eyes. Jesus dealt, that was a defeat to human eyes. But in reality, Bishop, hallelujah, the cross, he defeated the powers and authorities of evil. And he disarmed them all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God be praised for the cross this morning. Lift holy hands. Praise the name of the Lord. The cross made a difference in all of us lives. Hallelujah. The significance of the crown of thorns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just do a display for you. Matthew 27 and you can read all, all the, 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 the verses there. Verse 28 and 29. And they stripped him and put him Put on him a secret, a scarlet robe. Hallelujah. Praise God. And when they had plotted a thorn, the crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his hand. And they bowed the knees before him and mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And immediately, contest reveals, hallelujah, that the crown of thorns was used to mock our Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. They used both a robe and a crown to present him as a king. Then mistreated him before putting him to death. Hallelujah. When Jesus was crowned with a crown of thorns, his torturous unknowing punished him with a symbol fitting a suffering Messiah. And the sign which we know hung above his head. Jesus, King of the Jews, he suffered and died for the sin of all of us this morning. Hallelujah! 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 Here goes the nails. Here goes the nails. Hallelujah! The significance of the nails. Hallelujah! The book of the apostles, Matthew chapter 27 and 28, St. Mark 15, verses 27 through to 32, St. Luke 23, 33 to 38, and St. John 19, 1 through to 42. All of these passages are included, the crucifixion and the event that has taken place over 2,000 years ago. So you know, the apostles, they share their different views. The nails were instru instrument used to secure Jesus on the cross. We saw on his face, inflicting, excruciating pain of suffering for you and I. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jesus! <laughs> The nails, glory to God, were a stark reminder of the price paid for humanity. Hallelujah. And the sins of the world. And the depths of Jesus Christ's suffering. And the sacrifice he made for you and I. Each nail represents a distinct aspect of redemption, forgiveness, reconciliation, and restoration for all of us and the whole world. Hallelujah. 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 So as we read, as I come down to the conclusion of my summary, when all was said and done, hallelujah, St. John 19, brethren, let me just read for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He was nailed on the cross for you and I. The thorns on his head, and the blood came dripping down. He was placed on the cross, blood from his two hands, his feet were plotted, and they drive the nail through his feet. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Bosada Bosata! Holy Ghost! St. John 19, 33 and 34. Then came the soldiers, and break the legs of the first and the other 
which were crucified with him. The two thieves, you know about that. Hallelujah. This is 32. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his feet. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. Hallelujah. And with soot came, forth with came out of his body. Hallelujah. Water and blood. This morning, there is a fountain said about Sata. Oh, my mama, oh, Sata. Filled with blood, drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Sinners plunge beneath the flow, lose all our guilt and our stain. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The cross, the crown, the nail, significant. Hallelujah. More than what we would imagine. It is worthy of attention, Bishop. For all humanity. Hallelujah. Multimedia at this time and praise team. Please sing with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love grow where the blood fell. Hallelujah. 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 See Jesus on the cross. The people crying. See my Jesus on the cross. The people crying. Looking on the man. Looking on a man. Such a tragedy. But what the world could not see was when they nailed him to that tree. It broke the chains of sin and said.
you to sit. I just want you to sit and close your eyes. Hallelujah. 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 Just reflect. Just reflect. Just take a moment to reflect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's no longer on the cross. He is no longer in the grave. We are now in the position to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your love grew where your blood fell. Thank you. Thank you for loving me so. Thank you for taking my place. Hallelujah. 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 What a love. What a love. Hallelujah. 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 We are in the position, my brothers and sisters. With a heart of gratitude. None of us could have gone on that cross. Even leading up to the cross, many of us would turn back and say, mm -mm, Me not do it. But an innocent, because of his love for us, he bore it all. Why should we now not say thank you? Why should we now not serve him? Is there anything greater that a man could have done for you? There is nothing greater. So he deserves our praises. Reflect. This is a season to reflect on that love. This is a season to embrace that love. Hallelujah, Jesus. Where the blood. Hallelujah.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lamentation 3, 22 to 23 says, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassion never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a perfect reminder of God's faithfulness and mercy, which are renewed each day. Hallelujah. We don't deserve it. But his mercy and faithfulness is why we are here. Hallelujah. 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 While you get ready, my brothers and sisters, we are going to be taking three testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and speak of that which our great God has delivered you from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and testify to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will worship the Lamb of glory. We will worship the King of kings. We will worship the Lamb of glory. We will worship the King. And with our hands lifted high, we will worship and sing. I must say, I'm so glad that I'm a part of the family of God. Washed in his fountain, cleansed by his blood. I'm joined tears with Jesus as I travel along. Virgin, I must say, I'm glad that I'm a part of this New Testament church of God. Three water laid. I have a problem. My son that you all know. Um, he has gotten a job. And when he did the interview for the job, they, he told them he was a Christian. They say he should not worry because he would get his son the half. He worked at this place for almost two years. He got there from Monday to Saturday, no Sunday half. I got real mad and radical, started praying, crying, bawling, and hollering at church and at home. I said, God, this can't be. I need him to come to church to worship with the members. I said, God, I am happy for the, the job because I can't maintain him. He's now a big man. I can't maintain him anymore. You need to find him a job, another job. Brethren, I prayed and I prayed. He, has, he applied for another job. He has gotten another job. Let me tell you something, brethren. He has gotten another job, but I still cry, pray, ball, and holla. Reason be, <laughs> from he got the job, I found myself under <clears throat> um, the, my tree crying. I started to cry. Reason being, he will be away for six months. Brethren, I miss him. I started having pity party on myself, on myself. Found myself crying on my tree. How I going to manage without him? When I cook, he loves nice food, nice drinks. I said, he's not going to get any. So I said, God, how I going to manage without him? Brethren, I came to fasting last week. And God delivered me from under my tree. 
I came to Reverend Barrett's funeral week before last Saturday. After funeral, I left for work. When I was finished packing out my stuff, I took up the program, looking at, through the program. I heard a voice said, you're looking through this program. You're lucky you will be seeing your son in six months' time. Sister Barrett will not be seeing her husband in this life. Brethren, I heard the voice, you know, saying you, you're worrying about your son. And you're going to see him in six months' time. And Sister Barrett won't be seeing his, his husband again in this life. Brethren, that didn't make sense to me. I know the voice was speaking to me, you know, but I was still worried and fretting. But last week, Wednesday, when I, I said, God... You have to deliver me from this stress. Because I said, God, remember, I just do a major surgery and I'm not supposed to worry in and fret in. Virgin, every time I think about my son, my heart beat. I have to, sometimes I hold my heart. I said, God, don't let me get a stroke. Don't let me get a heart problem. Worrying real hard in a Virgin about my son leaving. I came to fasting last week. Let us live for God and trust God because he knows when and how to deliver us. Brethren, I didn't tell nobody I was worrying about my son. My son was in fasting and he knows I love him, but he didn't know I was worrying about him. But God gave the man of God a word. Told me that I should get up from under my, what's the tree name again? <laughs> my juniper tree. He gave the man a word for me. He said, get up from under your juniper tree. Brush off yourself because the work is not yet true. So get up and brush off yourself, brethren. I left fasting last week, Wednesday. Relieve of my stress. Yes, I went with him Sunday to where he would be staying. And brethren, let me tell you something. I hug him and I kiss him and I bid him goodbye. Other parents were crying. But there was no tears in my eyes to cry. Because God has gave me a word that this is not the end. So I should get up and stop stressing out myself. Let me tell you something about this man of God. He's sitting up here. Evangelist Arthur Grant. When you come here and hear him speak in Bridging, if you don't have anything to say good about him, don't say anything. Last year, July, I took sick March. And last year, July, the doctor couldn't find my complaint, so they gave me a letter to go and do a big test. Bridgin, I make appointment to do the test. So the test was to be done the 24th of July last year. I came to fasting the 19th of July, the Wednesday before. When I reached out at me, I said, God, I start, the test was, they were going to insert something inside of me, a camera, to find out what was happening. So I started fretting about the test. But when I reached there, I said, God, I don't tell you nothing today. I don't ask you nothing, have your way. I came into fasting and I sat down. Evangelist Arthur Grant was his speaker. I didn't tell nobody my problem. But when he was almost through preaching, he said, somebody in this audience is going to do a test. And the person is worrying and stressing. Virginia I didn't look left, right, or center. I know he was talking to me. I got up with my two hands in the air and I came to the altar. He lay his hand on my head. And he started, he said, God said to tell you, don't worry and don't fret. Everything is going to be all right. Virgin, I don't know. I didn't know that I have cancer. But the man of God started to dig up cancer in my belly. He said, cancer, root you up and take you from the root. And I throw you in the sea of forgetfulness. You now come back and you can't come back. When I went the Monday to do the test, Virgin, they said, somebody have to come with me. So my son came with me. My son was worrying. But I live here that Wednesday. Relieve. Brethren, every time my son asks me, Mommy, you all right? I say, look here, stop asking if me all right. Because if you ask me again, I will answer you. Me all right. When I went and I did the test, when I came out, the doctor called both of us into his office. He told me to sit down. But my son should be sitting, up, sitting down because he was worried. The doctor held up her arm, a chart on the wall. And he said... This is what we find in you. Cancer in your colon. Let me tell you something, brethren. I look at the doctor. Maybe the, when he told me that he was expecting me to cry or to drop off the chair, 
and they called for the ambulance. But I looked at him and I said, what next, doctor? Before he answered me, he was just staring at me because he didn't expect that question. I said, what next? He said, surgery. I said, go ahead. Brethren, here I am today. The man of God dig up the cancer before I went to the doctor. And I went and I did my surgery. They said that I would be wearing a feces bag on my side. I said, doctor, for how long? He said, for eight months. I said, doctor, I'm the God that can work. I have to come to church, come worship. So I can't wear no feces bag. Brethren, when I went into theater, you know, I started to pray. I said, God, you are the chief physician in here today. Didn't remember nothing about the feces bag. Brethren, when I look, I saw the nurse coming in to put me to sleep. Then I remember about the feces bag. Brethren, tell you the truth. I didn't remember about feces bag, nor a defecating bag. I use a word to God, but that I can't tell you on the phone right now. Brethren, I said, God, no feces back to my side. Five months now since I did my surgery, and I am not wearing no feces bag. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look what Hallelujah. the Lord has done. Jesus. Look what the Lord has done. Yeah, he healed my body, he touched my mind. He saved me. Just in time, I'm gonna praise His name. His name is just the same. I wanna praise Him. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. word so look what the Lord has done and I am sure the Lord will be keeping the other two persons to come and testify next week hallelujah hallelujah for time's sake we will not have the online requests read um, until after our speaker all right yes so at this time, I'm going to invite Brother Mark Richards to come with a special selection. While he's coming, I must acknowledge Bishop Ruel Robinson, who was seated right there earlier. Right? And he will be taking charge right there after Brother Mark Richards. Hallelujah. It was a pleasure, my brothers and sisters, being your moderator for today. God bless you. Keep your cups up and ensure that at the end of today's fasting, it is filled because you have the faith that was spoken of. I want to thank all those persons who took part throughout the proceedings today. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on church, give God praise this morning. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God, a God who's full of love and grace. And we bless his name today. Amen. Hallelujah. How, let me see the hands of those who are happy for the cross. Hallelujah. Let me see the hands of those who are benefiting from the cross. Let me see those who appreciate the Lord for the cross. Hallelujah. And for the, for the finished work on the cross. Ephesians 2, somewhere there said that. And you have equipment who were dead in trespasses and sin. Hallelujah. We who were separated from God because of our sin. He has brought us back to life through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Hallelujah. And this morning we can say, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. How can I say thanks for the things that you have done? for me things so undeserved yet you gave to prove your love 
we just bless him today. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved Yes, you gave To prove your love for me The voices Of a million angels Could not express My gratitude all that I am and never hope to be I owe it all to thee oh how can I Say thanks, hallelujah, for the things you have done for me, oh, things so undeserved, hallelujah, yet you gave to prove your love, oh, me the voices of a million angels could not express my 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 gratitude all that I am and ever hope to be yeah, yeah. I owe it all to thee to God be the glory to God Yes, 
Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Come on, give him the highest praise. Give him the highest praise. Ah, give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God forevermore. Glory to God. You may be seated. Glory, 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 glory. Look what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. What a beauty to be in the presence of God. Amen. In fasting today. Glory to God. Praising and magnifying God. God is truly an amazing God. Amen. Do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him? Give him a big shout of hallelujah. Come on operators. Come on. Give us quality sound. Come on. Do you love him? 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. We salute the household of faith in the name of Jesus. I salute the guest speaker. Amen. Evangelist Dr. Arthur Grant. Amen. This great man of God. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Glory. I salute our uh, fasting director and team. Put your hands together for them. The council members who are here and are viewing, put your hands together. There are 2,600 viewers right now. 2,600 gadgets that is connected to this fasting service. Amen. And the numbers is further or more. Can we put our hands together for them? Hallelujah. Praise God. We give God thanks for his many mercies and all that he has done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Can I tell you, all those in the house, all those in line, we are here with one purpose, to focus on God. Not man, not man, not the preacher, not the host pastor, not our guest singer, come on, but to, to focus on God. This is not a man-focused fasting. Amen. This is a God-focused fasting. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise him yet again. Hallelujah. Every visitor, every online worshiper that you are in the house, we are happy for you. The names are so many. You know yourself, I'm staring at some. Amen. Right in the eyes. Good to see you. Happy to know that you are here. Last week, uh, amen, I whisper in the ears of the servant of God, can you come and finish what you have started? He said he will tell me. But I run by faith and declare that he will be here. And guess what? Amen. Behind stage he said, all is well, I will be here. And church, the servant of God is in the house today. Come on, man. Can you put your hands together for the great servant of God, Evangelist Arthur Grant. They are uh, the online prayers to be prayed for. Um, and that will be done after his true preaching. But we'll be praying for the table. We'll be serving communion. Amen. Um, as he has instructed us under the influence of the Holy Ghost. I want the 2,600 online worshipers, if you can grab hold of something that symbolizes the Lord's body and also the Lord's blood. Get it? Because we will, under the instruction of the servant of God, will be drawn close to the Lord's table, celebrating, commemorating his death till he comes. Amen. 
Amen. Somebody worship the Lord. Come on, somebody praise him. Glory to God. Listen, a church mother once told me she married for about nine years or so. And there was not a child in the union. But she remembered vividly. It was Lord's supper and feet washing that Sunday night. Amen. And she said, God, I am going by the Lord's supper service for a miracle. Hallelujah. And she said, as she consumed the bread and take the wine, she felt something caught her in her stomach. Come on, something move. Come on. Amen. Few weeks later, according to the time, the power of God moved upon her body. Amen. She was pregnant with her first child. Come on, man. Come on, somebody celebrate, celebrate. Can I tell this fasting something? The same God, somebody say that with me. The same God. Oh Lord, lift up your hand. I don't know what is your need. I don't know what is your request. I don't know what you're facing. But oh, the same God that performed that miracle yesteryears. Come on. The same God is in the house. Somebody worship him. Come on, brace yourself for that miracle. What the doctors say cannot happen, it's going to happen. What they laugh at you about, you have the last laugh. Come on now. You better get ready to dance. You better get ready to laugh because God is going to shut the mouth of the naysayers. Come on, stand with me everybody. Stand with me. Put your hands together online and in the house and receive the servant of God that needs no introduction. Clap your hands for the servant of God. Keep the music going. Let's welcome the servant of God. I asked my moderate, my operators, give him quality sound. We are on the battlefield and battlefield carry noise. Come on, somebody. Ah, I want you to worship God. I want you to shout hallelujah. I want you to dance on your feet. And if the power of God bid you run, run. Man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. The the army of the Lord has different distinct sound. Amen. The army of the Amalekites and the Egypt army and the Israel army, they have distinct sounds of battle and victory. This is why the Assyrian army was able was able to recognize, amen, bless the Lord, was able to recognize the different armies that were coming up against them when the four lepers were marching. And the church of God, the body of Christ, has a distinctive sound when we praise the Lord. Amen. And it doesn't matter what nation you were born in. When you get to hallelujah, you say nothing but hallelujah. Amen. That's the, what is called the universal language of praise. Somebody bless the Lord. There is enough to praise the Lord for. The fact that we are alive. Amen. For another week, another day, another year, we have what to praise the Lord for. Amen. Somebody bless the Lord. 
and be seated if you can. Amen. We are here to worship the Lord and to take from him what is already paid for and the promise. Amen. It's paid for and promise. We are here to take it. And therefore you must know what is promised to you and claim it in order to receive it. I greet Bishop Robinson and, and family, Sister Robinson. I greet um, the day's moderator. I greet the council and the spouse. I greet everyone, both here and those joining us on the virtual space. To God be the glory. Amen. All of us, since we leave church the last time, has encountered severe conflict with the enemy. But our God is faithful. Amen. I want to acknowledge um, Reverend Malcolm, who um, you, you, you need a church like this when you retire. Amen. You need a church like this when you retire to cruise um, to just cruise home. Amen. You don't need some place where you've been angry and your soul been vexed. You need some place where you just put, amen, Reverend Malcolm uh, can just put the, the ship into uh, the plane into automatic um, cruising and it just cruise on. Amen. Hallelujah. And just cruise right into the harbor or its destination to God. Be the glory. Hallelujah. I am blessed since I came by this morning. A couple of things that bless me. The first speaker spoke of the radical faith and talked about Abraham's faith and there are other Bible characters that we could have um, utilized such like um, the Canaanite woman who refused to give up until God reward her. The, the, the woman with the issue of blood is saying if I could but just touch and those who tried to discourage Bartimaeus he said well I'm not really trying to get you to answer me because you can't help me. I'm just interested in what Jesus is going to say after I call him radical faith. And then we heard another speaker came and give the significance of the, the cross, the torn of crown and the nails. And I just sat there and said, we need to take the cross a little more serious and understand the purpose of the cross. And to know that we are not defeated. Amen. Jesus has defeated the devil. And I, I thought the Reverend Robinson. I said there are two. While you were singing. I thought there are two seasons in the year. Amen. That the devil. Hell should be tormented. When Jesus was born. And when he died. Amen. Especially when he died. Amen. That broke powers of hell and the bible said he make an open show mark at principalities amen and he remain lord and the church walk in that freedom today we are here to take from god take from god amen and we i don't think reverend robinson is going to preach two sermons I don't think he will be preaching on the Lord's Supper. Amen? He won't be doing that. And so I can, I can just simply say to you that when you take the Lord's Supper, there should be some changes. You just drink an emblem of the blood of Christ. Amen? And the bread represent his body. And, and, and as we were discussing that when, when, when Israel according to, was it, is it um, 
somewhere in Genesis, Genesis or uh, somewhere there. Ah, Exodus. In Exodus 11 or, or 12, when, when God instructed Israel to, to eat the lamb's flesh and use the blood as a symbol of covenant and covering to put on the doorpost. Um, they ate the flesh. And the Bible said not one sick or feeble one came out. And for 40 years, no doctors tend to anyone. Amen. Hallelujah. No sickness, no death. Amen. Because they consume the Lord's flesh. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. I want to share with you from, from the book of, of Luke, a familiar passage. I just sat down and this just birthed in my spirit. The thought I want to share with you, if, if you have been robbed, stripped, wounded, and live to die. Jesus is here to restore you. Amen. If you should in case. Amen. You are being robbed. Stripped. Wounded. And live to die. Jesus the restorer. Is here to restore you. Somebody praise the Lord. And so we are visiting the conversation, the account of the Good Samaritan found in Luke chapter 10. And all this, this, this parable and this account came as Jesus would have taught his disciples and, and, and folks who were not really disciples would have followed his ministry. And so he, he, among those that were following him was a brilliant man, a lawyer by profession, young and brilliant, well taught, well spoken. And he sought to trap Jesus in a conversation by asking him, so who is your neighbor? Because uh, he sought how could he obtain eternal life. And when Jesus explained everything to him and then said, love your neighbor as yourself. So he said, well, let me see if I can trap him by asking him, who is my neighbor? The man next door. Uh, who is my neighbor? And Jesus said to him, a certain man. And the reason why the person remain nameless is because it's a parable. So he said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Amen. And I looked up the distance between Jerusalem and Jericho. And it says it's a 16 mile stretch of road. That used by different kind of persons. It is said at the time when Bartimaeus sat at the highway of Jericho. It was just about Passover. He being strategic in what he was doing. Knew that businessmen, entrepreneur, and pilgrim, religious pilgrimage. They would have traveled in back and forth. And they are going to worship. Now he don't expect a business person or an entrepreneur to give him any money. 
But he knew that religious persons would have more sympathetic to him than the ordinary. And so he would have worn the disability clothing. So as the priest and whoever passed by and he would have asked, he would have gotten something. And that's, that's good enough for him. But that 16 miles stretch of road that connects both cities is a replica of our life's journey. And I notice that the road belongs to the government. But it is used by different kind of persons. So in this life journey, whether we are Christians or non-Christians, the moment we were born, we are on a journey. Now, the road, the journey is marked with success and failures, disappointments, shattered dreams. According to the text, there are about three or four sets of persons that were identified to have used it. One, the priest used the road. The Levites used the road. The man that was robbed, used the road. And the thief that robbed him, utilized the road. Utilize the space. Come on. And some of us church folks, and some of us who preach the gospel, we are behaving as if God gave us a mandate to drive the devil out of the world. No, no. We are going to share space with him. Amen. And so, if the thief lurks along the road, the possibility lies that you will be robbed. No matter how much security you have, times you get robbed. I, I, I've never had an interest in a gun. I'd rather put my confidence in a dog. Not a gun. It sleeps when I'm sleeping. The dog is awaken when I'm sleeping. Amen. I've seen sharpshooters, marksmen. Amen. Got cut down with weapon on them. Enemies. Thieves rob them. Amen. It is said that a police apprehend a pickpocket. When he put the handcuff on him. Later on he discovered that he was picked by the same man. Lord help me. Now, the, 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 the thief is a replica of the devil. Am I talking to somebody? I don't know how to put this one. But the good Samaritan is a replica of Jesus Christ. Am I talking to somebody? And I came by to tell you, and don't think for a moment that I'm telling you off. But today we are not here for our cute looks. You didn't come by to see Reverend Grant. Amen. You came by because you have a need. And my, my present pastor would have put it like this. Reverend Watson would have said, Nothing leave heaven until something leave earth. 
and he would refer. When he says that, he's referring. If your praise don't leave hurt, come on. God help me. God's miracle will not live. Hey, somebody bless God with me. So today, come on. When you go to the supermarket or the market, you must carry something to purchase something. Purchase something. Am I talking to you? And even if, you, if it is paid for already, you must carry a container. Oh, help me somebody to receive it. And today, we are not here for our cute looks. Drop your cuteness. You, are, you need a miracle, so you need to drop your cuteness. So let's, let's go on. And so the possibility exists that you will be robbed. You will be robbed. And even while I'm speaking to you, my immediate audience, and those in the virtual space. Hallelujah. Many persons have been robbed spiritually. Come on. Sometimes or the other in your life. But let me, let me just see if I can walk a little through it. To be robbed is to be forcefully taken away something. From someone without their consent, whether at the threat of your life, gunpoint, a knife, or other instruments. But for you to be robbed, sometimes you surrender because of fear. Recently, I was I was told of a of a, of a Chinese who operates a business. I wouldn't even call it the, the name of the parish. He has a license for your arm. And when the men, when the men pounced on him and pulled their guns, he draw his gun and he was behind the burglar bar and he trembled until the gun fell out of his hand. Help me, Jesus. You see, the enemy have more than one way to rob you. He can rob you aggressively and he can suffer in robbing you. Can lead you into things. And he's a mastermind. Master of scamming and trickery. Ooh, you know, last year I received a phone call. And the phone call said, Sir, sorry, sir. Um you have won one million US dollars and a twenty twenty three Honda car. Do you have any interest in collecting the price? I said, most definitely. Even though I didn't gamble. <laughs> I mean, I understand why I can't win my currency. I have win it in America. So I said, let's move into the condition. How do I get the price? He said, well, first, there are some paperwork to take care of. So you need to... Um, to, 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 to um, go to Western Union send 50,000 Jamaican dollars and that will take care of the paperwork and we move on from there. I said, no, uh, uh, I don't deal with Western Union. I need some banking information so I can transfer the money from my account to yours. He said, well, no, I don't. I don't want it that way. I said, well, I am the one who paying for it. So I mean determine how me send it. And me really know said nothing of the you know. Let me just uh, go on with him. And he said to me, and he was talking and talking, and he refused to comply with, with the bank. And I said to him, you know, I, I'm giving you an advice. Get out my phone. <laughs> Get 
It says, God live drunk, I'm going to eat you like dead dog a road. <laughs> That's when I recognize he knows my name. He said, Mr. Grant, I know you. I said, no, you see me. You don't know me. I say, you see me walking around, you don't know me. Amen. Bless the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. And so there are ways to offer you what he doesn't have to take away what you have. That's the devil. Offer you what you have. What he doesn't have to take away what you have. And so, let me just share this one. And so, I, I, I stand at the car wash on my phone wrong. And, and we're talking about the thief. And the subtleness of my phone wrong. And a young lady on the, on the other hand says, um, Sir, I am calling from the GSL head office in Kingston. We're doing some promotion. And, but I'm checking. Um, I am sitting here. And sir, um, do you have any account with any other phone company. I said, yes. And he said, sir, may I ask you, what is your name? I said, Blacks. <laughs> he said, that's your name? I said, you don't have one for me. Take what I give you. He said, you can't dispute me no name, Blacks. For you don't have no name for me. For if you have a name, you wouldn't be asking me my name. Amen. And while she was talking and asking me, why are you getting so upset? Mr. But you call me on line phone. And call digital and say, you're sitting on my head office. And when I was opening my account with digital, me give them my national ID and then take off every information, including my name. And you tell me, say, you sit down in the digital office. And I call me telling me that you're doing promotion and you don't know my name and you call me on another network. I said, come on for my phone. Amen. So while you're going on in this life, Reverend Robinson, the reason why somebody rob you is because what you have is important to them. Why he robbed you is because the money is important. The gun that he takes is important. Your car is important. So while we journey through life, come on, the enemy sees something that God gave us that he has interest in. And don't let nobody tell you that he steal your salvation. He encourage you to throw it away. Because it's not no use to him. But the second thing that the thief did to the gentleman was strip him of his raiment. The raiment, come on, is your clothing. Your clothing cover your reproach. And that has to do with your integrity. Come on. And if he can rob you of your integrity, you're gone. You are being reproached. Amen. Amen. Somebody bless the Lord. This, 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 this. I'm having some feedbacks here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so it is important. This, this is what the fighting is about, Sister Shami. What we have, he has interest in it. What we have, amen, is a threat to him. So if he can strip us, 
he will reproach us. And if he reproach us, then he have us where he want us. I would not put myself in trouble. But there's a famous case that is happening now. With one of the world's greatest preacher. And it is alleged that certain things and certain lifestyles Social media. Preachers use it to gain traction. Talk with me. Have not shown one drop of sympathy. But they ripped him apart. Even last night. I watched. As they read some counterpart. Amen dwelling place and charged them. And I said, God, the devil stripped him of his morals, of his integrity. You see, when you lose that, you don't have anything leave. Preacher, your singing is just empty words if you lose that. If he can strip you morally, take off your garment of righteousness. He can strip you. He strip you. He reproach you. And sin is a reproach to any people. Not only that, he has interest in robbing you and stripping you, but in the process, he wounded inflict wound. Wounds are inflicted as a result of conflict, war, of fighting with an opposition. Jesus. It was, it was Rod Parsley who said when, you, when you're in the spiritual warfare, when you're coming out, when you just finish, carry out an assault. Amen. You must, you must have some scars to show that you was in war. And sometimes, Bishop, what we are treating uh, as wounds and people are laughing is cars inflicting unto us as a result of the war, saying that we are in a warfare. You don't lose the war, you just get wounded in the process. Jesus. Amen. So the objective is to steal, kill, and destroy. And I want to share with you, the same thief is at large. I'm not capture yet, you know. Still at large. Still creating mayhem among the human race and sometimes in the body of Christ. The thief's main objective is the church. The child of God, we are engaged in a relentless warfare as we journey to Jerusalem. We are in a relentless warfare. An enemy that will not let up. Amen. I stop at nothing until you are destroyed. You are encouraged to put on the whole armor of God. I tell you something, Reverend. If the bullets, let me use the modern days, weaponry. If the bullets were rubber bullets and blank bullets, God wouldn't tell us to wear an armor. They're live round. Come on, somebody. That can become fatal. That's why I say wear armor. Put on helmet. Come on. Put on breastplate. Shut your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Gird up your lines. Put on your shoes. 
Somebody bless God with me. It's not time to dress like the bride. It's time to put on your military dressing. Cover your mind. Cover your heart. Gird up your lines. This is where strength lies. Somebody talk to me. Take up your shield of faith. With which you quench the fiery dart of the enemy. So put on the entire army. Sleep in it. Wake up in it. Do business in it. Travel in it. Come to church in your home. Go home from church. I somebody bless God. And while you journey down life, you sing. I must have the Savior with me. For I dare not walk alone. I must feel his presence near me. And his arms around me thrown. Then my soul shall fear no ill. Let him lead me where he will. I will go without a murmur. And his footsteps follow still. Somebody bless God with me. Hallelujah. It is possible that you are robbed of your praise. You are robbed of your joy. You are robbed of your health. You are robbed of your salvation. You are robbed of your finance. Somebody talk to me in the house. But whatever you are robbed from. You are wounded. You are left on the way to die. Somebody write you off. The priest pass you. The Levite pass you. Somebody help me around here. But don't come Jesus. Somebody help me here. Ah, Jesus is on the same road. We are the thief walk. We are the Levite walk. We are the priest walk. Jesus Christ is at the wayside. For I am come that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Somebody praise God with me. Woo. Yes. They inflict wound. No doubt. He was resisting the thief. I said no doubt. He was resisting the thief. And the thief wounded him. Once wound is inflicted, life is at stake. Oh, somebody help me. For once wound is inflicted, blood begins to flow. And your life is in the blood. Somebody help me here. So if you run out of blood, you run out of life. This is the objective of the devil to wound you, to leave you without anybody to tend to you. And you must die. But by chance, come on, a good Samaritan came down. Now I'm going to change that statement. It is not by chance that Jesus is here today. He came by because he heard your groaning. He saw your bleeding. Come on. He saw your nakedness. He saw that you leave with nothing. God Almighty. He saw you. He saw you when the doctor's giving you over. He saw you when your church wasn't there for you. Talk to me now. He saw you when your religion was not there for you. you were, they were too afraid to stop where you are. For they don't want to be robbed themselves. They don't want to identify with your situation. Come on. But Jesus came deliberately. 
deliberately he came and stopped by. Have you noticed something, Reverend? On your way from Kingston, in and out of Kingston. And when you touch the first leg of highway coming from Kingston, you will see a bus with the highway logo. The patchwork the highway. If you break down, they give you assistance. Lord God, help me. I saw Jesus a patchwork. If I know so the thief is on the road. I saw Jesus a patchwork. Come on. Somebody bless God with me here. And this is why he said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. This is why he said, when you're passing through your waters, and when you're going through your river, and when you're going through your fire, and the moment you break down, if you pull off, amen, without call, without call, they would come down and investigate if you need help. I don't know if there's a cost to it, but I know they are there. I saw Jesus a patchwork the road of life. Patchwork the journey from here to heaven. Amen. For he knows. Robbers, come on. Are your hot spots on the road. Where thief lurks. To take away your marriage. Come on, no man. Take away your business. Take away everything from you. Wound you mentally. Only God. Why some persons listening to me today. Not out of your mind already. For you. The only thing you have leave is God. Preacher. I. In all of us you have to try something in life. And so I. I worked as a little young boy and I purchased some cows and, and, and thing and I had them on the maras and rearing them. It's surprising because there are loose cows and there are cows in rope that tied. And when we go down the hill that then, then, then loose the cow them and let them go and take the rope and catch my loose cow. And teeth me cow them. And when I go to the station, the police was not friendly with me. To me. And in a week later, I end up in the hospital. And the nurses and those who work there was not friendly. One of them said, so wait, wait. They were preaching on Black River Church. And we get a little bus to preach two nights. Me here, wait, I know, I know him be up I tell me. I preach like him a God. How am I doing inside there? <laughs> hey, but God have some senior persons in church. All you need for them, from them is a word of advice. And a senior lady said to me, son, if the devil steal everything from you and leave you with Jesus, you have enough to start again. And that settled it. Jesus. One thing he cannot take from you. He can't take Jesus. He will take away your praise. He'll take away your ability to read the word of God. He will take away your desire to pray. Somebody bless God. He will take away your courage to come to church. But he can't take Jesus from you. And if you have Jesus, come on. You have enough investment to start life again. 
And so Jesus show up like he did today. Right on life road. When he came or when he comes over to the man, he said, in my one words, I've come that you might have quality life. You're not merely surviving or existing. You are living, I'm going to give you quality life. But now, Jesus, in the person of the good Samaritan, is equipped for restoration. And I could say to you that he have a mobile hospital. He has bondages. And no, no doubts, needle, and thing to sew up the open wound. Woo! He has oil and wine. Come on, a replica of the word and the spirit. And he poured them in. He bound up the wound to stop the bleeding. Jesus. But after today, when he poured in today, he will not leave you in the danger zone. The Bible said he went down to him. Stooped down to him. Hey! He wrapped us in Genesis in the Garden of Eden. And Jesus Became flesh and stooped down to us, brother T, and picked us up out of danger zone. Put us on his own peace, means of transportation, and carry us to an inn. And I'm going to make some statement. We have to be careful as leaders and as church people. How we deal with those who are backslidden. It doesn't matter what caused them to backslide. If somebody in the church and walk out because he's stripped and left to die in a life of homosexuality, we have to be careful how we deal with it. Reverend, when I think me don't like, you know, I don't like to hear preachers stand behind the pulpit having a field day at other person's destruction. He gave us, he reconciled us and gave us a ministry of reconciliation. Nobody asks you to, Reverend Robinson, nobody asks us to be a part of their lifestyle. But we must show them the way out of it. Woo! Jesus, careful how we deal. Because Jesus picked him up. The Samaritan picked him up. Take him out of danger zone. Carry him to an inn. And him over to the innkeeper. The inn is a replica of the church. The innkeeper is a replica of the pastor. He didn't hand him over to the entire church. He gave him to the one in charge. And gave him some instructions. And he stayed with him all night. Until the worst was past. And when he wake up in the morning, he called the innkeeper, which is the pastor, and said to him, Take care of him. Jesus. And he gave him resources. He gave him some money. Some money to cash to care. And he gave him some money. And said to him, Take care of him. If the bill overrun what I give you, when I return, I will pay you. Jesus. 
Jesus, somebody help me here. If you spend more time than it took. If you spend more money than what I leave give you. If your resources exhaust because of him. When I return. Jesus that you know. When I return. I will pay you. Ooh. There is a reward for restoration. There is a reward for reconciliation. Don't write me off. Somebody bless God. I'm not shouting. I'm wounded. I don't have. I used to shout. I used to sing on the praise team. I used to be in the choir. I used to be in the catering committee. The usher committee. What have you. Grounds committee. Hey. But you can't find me. And even when I come to church. You can't hear from me. I'm wounded by a lie that was stolen me. I am wounded by a negative statement or remark. I am wounded by the accusation. And it drives me into isolation. I am wounded. I am bleeding profusely. I lost my shout. But I am not dead. Somebody help me here. Oh God. Somebody worship him in the house. Don't organize my funeral. Don't write me off. Do I write no eulogy about me? For I shall return. For the resurrection and the life. He's going to pay me a visit. He's in town today. To restore my joy. To restore my shout. To restore my dance. For weeping only endure for a night. I said, weeping on the end of for a night. Right now I'm in my midnight hour. Ah, oh God, weeping and endure for a night. But joy. Somebody shout in the house. Whoa, there's a, there's a sister Shami when I, when I get fixed to prepare this and on my way down, I see a multitude of wounded, naked, Bleeding people sitting in church, going through the motion, hiding behind a mass. There's a time for the mass. There's a season for the mass. And there is a purpose for the mass. But that mass season is over. Somebody bless God. You need to say, I'm sick and tired. I've been sick and tired. The sermon don't mean anything to you on Sunday morning. You don't even know why you're coming to church. You don't know why you're in fasting today. To Rambako Sayabahudia. When everybody shouting, I can't feel anything because most of my blood is bleed out, bleeding out. Somebody help me in this place. We are not here for fun today. The time of wounding is over. The thief cannot show up when Jesus is on the spot. For we will never leave you in the danger zone. God is picking up somebody right now as I speak. He's lifting you out of the situation. Help me no man. Help me no man. Some of us only, some of us preachers, we only know when people sin. We don't know how to give them a word. Talk to me no man. We only listen for negative things to build our sermon to condemn. Don't condemn anybody. Spurgeon said as long as 
hells. Let me walk down here and demonstrate. Hallelujah! Spurgeon says, as long as hell door don't close on a man, don't write him off. As long as the door open, there is hope. Hey, somebody bless God with me. Hallelujah! So you, you have one praise the Lord leave because everything gone leave. One praise the Lord. All Elijah wanted is was a few grain of meal in the barrel. God only need a praise to multiply it into praises. You're getting it back. I'm, I'm questioning the devil about this. You're getting it back. You better start shouting even before you feel like shouting. Even when you don't have nothing to shout about. Shout! Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. I told Satan, get me behind. But victory is mine. Ooh. Ooh. Riba bakosinda. Mandala bakosaya. Hear me. When the restorer come to town. You must acknowledge that he's in town. Hey! I notice. I notice that these overseas churches and organization, America, Canada, England, whatever country, they would have come out with missionary teams with medical persons and you can get free blood pressure tests, free sugar tests, free cholesterol tests, Free heart tests, free eye tests, and a free glasses. If you can get all of that free, paid for by some donors, why would you want to buy glasses for 50,000, 70, 80,000? Don't pay for whatever is paid for already. But something has to be done. You have to leave home. Go on the venue. Where all this charity is going on. You can sit at home. And tell them you need their glasses. They have to give you itis. Talk to me now man. They are going to ask you some questions. And you need to verbalize it. Hey. Right now. Jesus is in the house. It's not a fiction of my imagination, you know. Mr. Jesus is right inside here. The Father is here. The Son is here. And the Holy Ghost is here. And whether you are wounded physically, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching. My sister spoke earlier on in radical faith. Wounded. Your faith is on the mind. And demons are telling you you're going to die. Devils are telling you you're going to die. Because that thing takes over your body. Anybody here with me? Anybody here with me? I got stories I can tell you. Not what people say. What I have seen with my eyes. I've seen God mend broken bones instantly until the doctors never thought it had been broken. If you are worshipping a God and him cannot help you, you need to stop. He make himself available to us through the cross. It's two things we're climbing on today, you know. 
We're climbing on the word of God. And we're climbing on the Lord's Supper. Come on. And some of you, those who will believe, when you drink it today, it's the end of the devil's reign on your health. Somebody help me. Reverend, we, we must. The, the, my sister who spoke earlier on says when you demonstrate faith, not everybody is going to agree with you. Sometimes the closest person to you don't agree with it. Because when you talk to a medical person about your sickness, they give you medical advice. If you talk to a witch, and give you witch advice. Talk to me, no man. If you talk to the grandmother, who is the village nurse, she going to tell you how many bush to boil. But when you talk to the preacher, come on, Yee, somebody help me. The preacher is going to lead you to prayer. Asking, I'm telling you. Today is what? The 26th day of March. Year of our Lord. 2024. Jesus Christ is in Waterloo. In three Waterloo. New Testament Church of God. Sitting among you. Right beside you. Somebody talk to me here. Waiting for you to make the request. I've come to restore all the devil have taken away from you. Everything that he stole. Everything. This day of torment and, and conflict and stress and principalities and powers that don't seem like it want to let go. This day your reign is over. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout in this place. Somebody shout. Somebody get up and shout. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And when you shout the blood of Jesus, you must shout it expecting a miracle. God waiting on you. Jesus I wait for you. Jesus waiting on you. If blind body must never call, Jesus would pass him by. Somebody shout for help. Hallelujah. Somebody shout. Help. Jesus help. He saw me bleeding and dying on the Jericho road. And he poured in the oil. Jesus, 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 Jesus. He's right beside you. He's opening his kit. Brandoli and the Sakta Randa Bobo Kosaya Bahunda. He's opening the kit, he's opening the kit, he's about to pull out the bandages and bone up the wound. He's gonna stop life from leaving your body. Hey, Somebody help me and say he's stopping the bleeding right now. He's pouring Holy Ghost oil 
you lost your anointing he's about to re-anoint you he's about to give you a double portion and i'm just here in my spirit that your latter days shall be greater than your former days somebody bless god in this place somebody bless god in this place drop your cuteness drop your cuteness drop your cuteness and open up your mouth God is ministering, he's ministering, he's ministering, he's ministering. Yes, Holy Ghost, yes, Holy Ghost. Can you feel the touch of your master's hand? Woo, somebody praise God. Why these people won't praise God with me? You have not shouted since COVID came. Strip you down, drive you into fear. Hey, hallelujah. You thought you had finished paying rent, but you have to go back on rent for your house. Gone to the debtor. The bank re reclaimed the house. No money, no leaving the bank. And you're wondering, does it really worth while living? That bleeding stop today. Life. 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 Somebody shout life. Somebody shout life. Life. Somebody shout life. Life, 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 life. You have a particular time to live. Your medical advisors give you a particular time to live based on the diagnosis. But I heard in my spirit. Like Ezekiah, Oko Tarabasaya. Like Ezekiah, I've heard your prayer. I heard your prayer. I heard your prayer and I had some days to your life. I had some years to your life. So you shall just turn around and tell somebody you shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. But live and declare somebody worship God. I, you shall not die but live and declare Jesus, 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 Jesus you need a miracle from God I hear the Holy Ghost say walk before me on the altar walk before me on the altar walk before me on the altar walk before me Come and stand before the Lord and the altar tonight. Isaiah said the fasting is to undo. Is to undo the heavy burden. Break the yoke. Come on, somebody. Look here. You don't come up here to look around. You come, come up here with an attitude. Come up here with an attitude. Rababako city under. There's a living live current on this altar. Ah, the Holy Ghost is tabernacling with us. Hey, somebody praise God with me. Open your mouth and give God praise. Open your mouth and give God praise. I am going to stop worrying. I'm going to stop fretting and stressing out myself. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. Worship Him, church. 
Worship him, church. Worship him, church. There is something hanging over you. Something to release. Worship Jehovah God. Worship him. I will not keep silent. As long as I am breathing, I will always praise him. Somebody praise him in the house. Somebody praise him in the house. You come, you came by for a miracle and you're going Hallelujah. home with it today. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Whatever you lost, this is restoration hour. This is restoration hour. Don't ask him anymore. Start giving him thanks. If God is all, if God already said to you, I am in the house to restore you. All you have to do is thank him for the restoration. Somebody worship him. Ah, shout a hallelujah in the house. 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 Shout in the house. He wants to baptize you with the Holy Ghost right now. Ah, yeah, the hallelujah. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Praise God until you're lost in the presence of the sweet Holy Ghost. Praise Him until you're keeping company. Ah, in the heavenly host. Somebody worship God. This is the hour of restoration. This is the hour of restoration. This is the hour of restoration. Hallelujah. Aye, 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 aye. Jesus. 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 Focus on God. Focus on God. Focus on God. Focus on the Lord. Focus on the Lord. Focus on the Lord. Focus on the Lord. Focus on the Focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Focus on Him right now. Right now. Right now. Feel the hand of God touching you. Feel the hand of God touching you. Feel the ministering hand of God, the restorating hand of God, restoring every fiber of your being. Reach your hand out and touch somebody. Rest it on somebody's shoulder while you're praising God. Rest your hand on somebody beside you. Rest your hand on somebody beside you. There is a magnetic force and there must be connection from one point to another for the energy to pass through the circuit. Hallelujah. Pass through the wires, through the plug, into the appliance. And the appliance now begin to function because the appliance plugged into the source of power. And the power, ah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Release, Hallelujah. release, Hallelujah. release. Hallelujah. Expect God to do something. Hallelujah. Expect something from Hallelujah. God. Expect Hallelujah. something from God right now. I release the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost upon you today. Rimo Sandinibikusaya. Release. Holy Ghost, release your power to the glory of God. My yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, let the people shout. Let the people shout. Let the people shout. Let the people shout. God is waiting on your prayers. God is waiting on your prayers. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It is promised. Receive it in the name.
name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We worship the Almighty God. We put a stop it on every generational curse. Every bad blood that runs through your lineage. Every sickness that runs in your lineage. In the name of Jesus, we put a stop hard. Hallelujah. 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 Wave your hands before the Lord. Wave your hands before the Lord. Give him a wave offering. Give him a wave offering. Hallelujah, I am in your midst, my people. I am in your midst. Trust me. Believe me. And take my blessing, my promises. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Water our soul. Water our soul, Jesus. Water our soul, Jesus. Water our soul, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the move of your spirit. Thank you for the operation of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for healing. Thank you for total restoration. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, God. Yes, thank you. Yes, God. Thank you. Yes, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spiritual restoration, for physical restoration, financial, mental, every area. Where we have lost it. Thank you for today. Thank you for being in our presence. Thank you for assembling us. Thank you for moving among us. God, we praise you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you for restoring our dance, for restoring our shout, for restoring our dancing and our shouting. I for giving us back all the enemy has taken. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thandoria Messiah. Sadabahudia. Randori Basaki. We worship. Lift your hands. Even if you don't have anything to say. Lift your hands before the Lord. Acknowledging Him. Acknowledging His presence. Jesus. Raise your hands. In total surrender. I say raise your hands. In total surrender. To the Lordship and majesty, might and divinity of Christ. Jesus. 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 I can see movements again in some of you. 
I say again, the movement since last year. Some of you don't move because you were at the death zone, bleeding out of a life while the enemy organized a party to celebrate your death. But today, movements, sign of life has come back to you. Oh, God Almighty, help me. So as from this day when you come to church, come out of your quiet zone. Come out of your passive zone. And just worship God. For you are no longer in the danger zone. You are fully restored. You are among those that are restored. You are in the watchful eyes of the innkeeper. Hallelujah. As you walk back to your seat, begin to just walk back with a praise and with an optimistic faith that it is over. The devil's reign is over. Hallelujah. The devil's reign is over. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lay your hand upon this, your daughter. In the name of Jesus. Release a miracle power. And whatever her needs are, pray you are the supplier. Supply this need. According to your riches in glory. By Christ Jesus. Be strong. And be courageous. For the Lord thy God is with thee. And will never leave you. Neither forsake you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You foul devil. You foul devil! We command you to release your hold. And we declare a miracle of deliverance upon your daughter. In Jesus' name. Cry no more tears of sorrow. Any more tears coming from your eyes, it must be tears of joy and praises of gratitude it is over it is over for whatsoever things you ask when you ask believe and it shall be yours in Jesus name in the name of Jesus touch your daughter where it hurts the most and give her a miracle now in Jesus name and somebody bless the Lord and somebody bless the Lord and somebody bless the Lord somebody bless God in the house mmm mmm Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Mandala Siki Rodobo Bosakia. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. God is raising up somebody. I said, God is raising up somebody for ministry. Reverend. But you are bombarded by fear.
I say, God is indicating to you. You see, it's signal of call to the ministry. But fear. You don't have the qualification academically. So fear gripping you. You don't know where the money is coming from. And fear gripping you. I want to pray with you right now. Maybe you're in line. I want to pray with you right now. Rise and don't come after him through. God indicating to you. I'm calling you for ministry. Karabasato. Walk out of your seat. Even if physically, every time you open your mouth, your blood pressure go up. Every time you exert energy, your blood pressure. Can I ask my dearly brothers, can I ask my brothers to just take back this table, take back this table back that way for me, please? Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you. The kingdom of God cannot run out of ministers. Some of you should be graduating already. Fear grips your heart. You are wondering how oh, can I be like Bishop Robinson? No, he didn't call you to be like Bishop Robinson. He didn't call you to be like Tamara Blake or any of these. Jennifer Porter, any of these. He called you to be you. There's a fresh anointing over it. The anointing destroys fear. The anointing makes you bold. Right now. God's giving you one more touch. Raise your hands before the Lord. Raise it. In a manner like you're taking something from him. Raise your hands and take. Like Elisha taking the mantle. Jesus. The baptizer and the Holy Ghost on fire. Is anointing you right now. And there shall be no stopping. And no man shall be able to stand before you. All the days of your life. And every place that the foot is tread upon. It shall be yours. You shall conquer territories. Leap over walls. And conquer enemies. Bandoliva, Sikien, no, no, no. Age will not be a factor. Education will not be a factor. Health will not be a factor. Gender will not be a factor. Till I shut up. I don't know if anybody feel it, Reverend, but I feel the wave. I feel the wave of the Holy Ghost. Somebody release yourself. Somebody release yourself in the hand of God. I declare upon you the fire of the Holy Ghost shall be lit in your belly and you shall burn unquenchable and out of your belly shall flow sick remorse open up your mouth and give God a praise let the church praise God Rabakosa Manda de Bekesa Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Spirit of God release 
fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Holy Ghost. Fire that no extinguisher from hell can put out. No extinguisher from hell can put it out. Burn up pride. Burn up arrogance. Burn up fear. Burn up sense altered. Burn until only Christ can be seen. Somebody give a sound to the Lord. Somebody give a sound. Somebody give a sound. Somebody give a sound. Somebody give a sound. Somebody give a shout to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Reverend, I feel like my time is over, but the Holy Ghost will not let me go. The Holy Spirit will not let me go. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He didn't send you your bishop out of cronyism and bodyism. No Godfather pulling his string for you. God is about to break a revival in this country. And right here, so you're going to start. He will raise up ministers out of here. The largest contingent of ministers. Somebody help me. They will come in from the drug den. From off the street. From the homeless organization. From the drugs. From the gangs. Somebody worship God with me here. Hallelujah! Your prayers are not in vain. Your tears are not in vain. Your fasting is about to give birth to a revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fasting is about to give birth to the purpose and plan of God. Hallelujah. Walk back to your seat in victory. And sign up for ministry. Yeah, go Rashad Abahuli. I say, sign up for ministry. End of time is upon us. And the harvest is about to spoil. Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We worship you, Lord, we worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Father, consecrate this oil for the purpose for which it was bought. 
that it used to bring glory to you and not to the oil. In Jesus' name. And lay my hand upon your daughter. You gave her the ability to speak. But she's robbed of her voice by the enemy. This is the day of deliverance, Father. And so we ask you to touch. Touch. Touch her organs. So the voice can return. We're not taking no for an answer. For we know this is not of you. This is of the devil. So heal her for your glory, for her comfort, and so she can spread your words in the name of Jesus. We command upon the authority of the word of God that whatever is out of order will get back in order. Jesus name this voice will return so that God can be praised through her verbally thank you father in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah somebody bless the hallelujah. Lord hallelujah our God glory to your name Jesus somebody bless Hallelujah. The Lord. Hallelujah. Our God. Glory to God. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory mm. to God. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Fix the case. Fix the court case. God, fix the court case. Pull the son out of scamming. Pull that boy out of the gang before he die. Hear the prayer of the mother. The church. Hear the prayer of other relatives and friend of the family. God, save him. Save her. Save them before the bullet reach them. Set a watchman over them. Torment their conscience. Until they surrender. Mm. Mm. Have your way now. Have your way. We thank you. In Jesus name. Love grew. With the blood. Fires of hope sprung for men in me
If you're in the audience and you're not saved, indicate by the raising of your hand. Those of you that raise your hand, could you meet me on the altar here? Those of you in the virtual space and you're not saved, right where you are, we are getting fixed to pray. And Jesus is right where you are. You can bow your knees or bow your head. Cry where the blood is, and I am so glad Christ's precious blood covers me. And Lord, Is there another person to walk down here? Thank you, young man. For men in me, so. And see.
first thing I want to ask. Would you be willing to give Jesus your life today? To become a Christian today. Quickly give me an answer, sir. Huh? You want me to tell you how the process starts? It starts when you give your life to Jesus. Not when you finish, think about it and you're satisfied. Or you get certain things that you realize you're not get certain things. The process begins today when you give your life to the Lord. Today, then the process starts. It not start yet. And are you God waiting on the God? Him start by giving his life. And ask you to accept him. And the process will. And if you accept him and live for him, the end of the process is determined already. Eternal life. Would you give him your life today? Would you give him your life today? What you're afraid of is nothing. What you're most afraid of is hell. Right? And even though you speak to me privately, I can answer you openly. Yes, you need to baptize again. Right? If you divorce me openly and come back and marry to me secretly, I got so. And come back and we have wedding again and everybody come witness it. That's all. And if you take off my ring and fling, give me a say, see a ring there. And I'm married to you. You're going to need a ring. And I remember the songwriter and say, she wears my ring to show the world she belongs to me. So you baptize as an open testimony to say, I have renewed my relationship with God. So you're ready to give your life to the Lord now. Hmm? Wonderful. Your problem is very simple. Would you willing to give the Lord your life today? Would you willing to give him your life today? Wonderful. God bless you. This visual impaired man. Daddy? What's his name? Winston Levy. Oh, you have a wealthy name, Levy. Would you give Jesus your life today? And serve him as a Christian. You will. You're catching on. Do you know Jesus have a better body for you? One that knows no blindness. Cannot go blind again. You heard about it. It is true. All of us heard about it. And we believe what we hear. If we can believe the hey, the cat and the fig and the cow jump over the moon and the little dog laugh to see such a fun and the dish run away with the spoon. We must can believe that there's a new body. There is an immortal body that none of what you suffer down here can touch that body when you go to be with Jesus. But you have to be a Christian and live for the Lord. You hear me? And if I were like you, after all Satan and his life do to me, I'd give them up. You understand? Any boss treat you this way, you know, for work for him. Because that's all him have to pay you. Amen? So you will give your life to Jesus today. There's a place in the kingdom for you. And there's a place in the church for you. We're not going to call you to preach if, you, if God no call you. We're not going to call you to read scripture. You understand? We're not going to put you in any embarrassing position. We will treat you as you are until Jesus brings a better way of life for you. All right? If you don't have any money, still come to church. If you have money, come to church. If you don't have no money, come to church. If you have good clothes, come to church. And if you don't have no good clothes, come to church. The church is here. Amen. Amen. To take care. And Jesus said when he come he will pay us. If we take care of you. 
Would you bow your head, please? Would everybody close their eyes and rise to where you are? Begin to say a prayer to Jesus. Everybody, everybody, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your word give life. It restores. And today, having spoken, and these people took the time to attend the fasting, they indicated by them being on the altar that they need you. They are not saved. And now, Lord, this day is not only restoration for the children of God, but restoration for these. And so we thank you for their obedience, their honesty. You have been speaking to them. Many of them have felt your presence. Many of them throw their hands in the air and give you praise. And they prayed, oh God, let this day. And the decision they make be the answer to their prayer. And so wash them in your blood. Cleanse them. Write their names in the book of life. And by no means instructing you what to do. I'm just asking you. For you told us in your words we should ask what we need. And so Lord it is our heart's desire. It is heaven's joy that Jesus, that they accept you today. And that 2,000 years ago, this Wednesday, leading up to the bittersweet Friday, when you will nail to a cross, feeling excruciative pain, bow your head and die. You were given to death and the grave to hold you for a few hours. But Herodes said death could not hold him. He tore the bars away. Up from the grave he arose. The mighty triumph for his home. You raise that they don't have to die. Give them life eternal today. God remember them. Some of them are going through difficult physical situation. Lord God Almighty. Turn your ears this way. Incline your ears oh God. Hear our cry. For mercy and deliverance. Against the onslaught of the enemy. Crush every plan of Satan. Destroy every intending plot. And give them victory. In their body. In their mind. In their soul. Thank you for saving. Thank you for cleansing. Thank you for receiving them. In Jesus name. Amen. Bishop Roberts, permit me. Permit me, sir. Have you given your life to the Lord today? You may ask if you're willing. Have you given your life to the Lord? Have you given your life to Jesus today? You give your life to Jesus today? 14 years now. You give your life to Christ today. You give your life to Christ today. You give your life to Christ today. Turn around. My friend over there, have you made the decision yet? Today? You made the decision today? Tell me, man. Huh? This is what? This is, the decision is always there. Then if the decision is here, you say yes. 
And a two decision can be there now. Yes or no? Me need to know which one is there. All right. You're not ready yet. No, you're not ready. All right. Get ready. Because you have 30 seconds each. You can't sing for 30 seconds. Any baby born. And then you make nice midwives. Slap them. So may I slap you today. That means you have to cry. Give us 30 seconds of testimony. Empty me of me, Lord, and fill me of you. I'm asking the Lord to help, to empty me of me and fill me of him. All right. Tell us what you decide to do with Jesus. Lord, you're my all in all. All I'm asking is that you continue to bless me, continue to guide me as I go along this journey. In your name, amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. So let me tell you something. It's a Paul testimony. I like to hear yours. Testimony is that you say what you decision. Oh. follow Jesus. My decision is to follow Jesus. Wonderful. Daddy? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, um, good afternoon, everyone. I, I intend to really come and really worship on the Wednesdays. I see the restoration process. It's very wonderful here. And I give him thanks for this day. I continue that my service as I go along. God has been good to me. God has been good to me. I cannot complain, and I am willing and ready to serve the Lord. Bless the Lord. I can't ask you to testify. Because you are waiting for the process. That's all. You are waiting for the process. I've waited on the process, guys. So, I made a step there. You can't turn back. So, I try to find myself and understand God more. So, I make the final decision there. Because even my son right now is supposed to baptize anytime. So, I have to know myself first. I know say, there is there's always going to be a test. Never go ever do that. Try to tempt in all type of ways. So, I have to firm up myself. But, and know. Yes. And but you see, if you don't have a devil, you have to have an opposition. You know? in order to prove your genuinity. Anyway, if school, hold on, man, hold on. The only person that can fail are the person we try. So if you're not try, you won't have any fear of it to talk about. And for you to learn in school, you have to attend school. You can't stay at home and school or go on. And you know. Yeah, man. God bless you. Somebody will take some information from you. And we look forward to be worshipping you with you. As you give your life to the Lord. When the iron is hot. That's when you hit it. And it will burn. If you get cold it will not burn again. Thank you God bless you. Somebody praise the Lord. Over to Bishop Robinson. Glory to God. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What you're praying for. What you're praying for. Has come to pass. Has come to pass. See what the Lord. See what the Lord has done. Somebody help me do that one last time. Let it be perfect, singers. Let it be perfect, musicians. 
what we're waiting for what you're waiting for has come to pass, come to pass. see what the oh, lord see what the lord has done thank you thank you could you stretch your hand to the servant of god no man draw no man move can we take a minute and pray for him father we glorify you another time you have poured into the spirit of your servant he has poured into our lives by your anointing god is a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal without you but with you lord is a force to reckon with thank you for the anointing thank you for wisdom Thank you, Lord God, for choice words. Touch his body. Come on, help me, help me pray for his body. Oh, God, sometimes we enjoy what the chef provides. Oh, God, but we don't know the pain he goes through. Lord, touch your servant's body from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Breathe on him. Breathe on him. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that the Adamic curse that is pronounced upon the human body, oh God, it don't have to materialize on him. Oh God, Abraham died with a sound mind. Lord, I release a sound mind upon your servant. Sound body, sound health. God Almighty, his, oh God, latter days will be greater than the former days. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome those who have decided for the Lord. We ask you to stay with the church. Amen. Come back to fasting. Come to uh, Good Friday service. Come to Sunday service. You may not have uh, the many clothes, but what you have, put it intact and come. Better days are ahead. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God has raised this fasting to undo every burden. All kinds of deliverance is in the house. Family deliverance, uh, marriage deliverance, physical deliverance, spiritual, mental. It is right here through the power of Almighty God. Many things that are happening in other quarters, you may not see it here. But I know under God that God is in the house. Amen. And he will accomplish what he has purpose in our hearts and in his will. Can I ask the officers, the counselors to come and stand? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, officers, male or female, stand up around the table quickly for me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Come, Brother Thomas. Brother Atkinson, did I see you? Where is Sister Bennett? Come. Amen. Moderator, come and stand down there in the name of Jesus. I want about eight persons in the name of Jesus. Come, Sister Yvette, how much more we want? Stand quickly. Work with me quickly. Amen. Come. Pretty girl in the blue, stand up with me. Amen. Come, Sister. Much if you can serve me, you can serve supper communion. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. How much we have there? We have two to 
to, to each section. Amen. Amen. All right. Never mind. I'll use him again. Two to each section. One with the bread, one with the wine. For that section go down, middle section, third section, fourth section. Amen. And when you finish, you come and meet me up here. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you right now. As we are about to partake of your body and your shed blood. Miracle has taken place. Miracle will take place. Right now, I ask you to sanctify the bread and the wine. That will bring glory to your name as we celebrate your death, oh God, for us. Not only the bread and the wine on the table, but there are hundreds, if not thousands, of persons who have prepared online right now. It could be a piece of biscuit. It could be water, but Lord, they use it as a point of contact. As your shed blood and your broken body. Let the healing and miracle be experienced. The lump will disappear. Mighty God. The mind will be stabilized. Oh God, the doctor's prediction and diagnosis will be nullified. Hallelujah. Miracle. Oh God in the body, in the family, in the marriage will take place. God Almighty. Revival in churches. Oh God will experience pastors, preachers will be reignited with the power of the Holy Ghost. Start it now. Lord, not only the, the bread and the wine to sanctify, but those who are selected to serve it, Lord, sanctify them afresh now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have a pair, one with the bread, one with the wine, and we have four sections we are to to do that lift the table in the name of the lord as long as you're a christian you are entitled to take it and in the name as long as you're a christian if you are not a christian don't take it hallelujah hallelujah as long as you're a christian if you gave your life today and and you are still in the house you're entitled to take it in the name of the Lord. God bless you. Just take it, hold it until you get further instruction from your pastor. Sister Charmaine, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my suffering die? Would he with all? That sacred hell for such a world as I Come on, those online prepare and for the, the for the communion the now. Come on, get your wine. The get your symbol as the broken body. Right in your office. The situation will change. The problem you have on the job, whatever you can find, come on, yes at the cross, where I first, can I hear the church sing with us? And now, and now I am happy all the way. The other verse, come on now. Was it for God that I am done? He brought upon the tree.
at the cross, come on now. Everybody join in. We are right first. And the burden. It was there. It was there by faith. I received my sight. And now, and now I am happy all the way. Yes, at the cross. At the cross. At the cross. Come on. Where I first saw the light. And the burden. And the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there. to get bread and wine you have received you have not received we have two hands at the back quickly for me servers move us quickly your pastor is a man of speed amen do that quickly and come and stand with me up here praise the lord there's somebody at the back you have gotten wine and bread not yet not yet somebody down those two ladies at the back you know them Glory to God. But let it be known this day, your pastor is a pastor of abundance. So next time you're going to share, share in abundance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. It's better to have leftovers than to run short. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Okay, come on, serve these quickly for me with the bread and the wine. Those who don't get wine, you will get it thereafter. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength. And it flows. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Come on, let me hear the church. From day to day. From day to day. It will never. the lowest the lowest valley oh the blood oh the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its power for it reaches From day, from day to day, it will never lose its power. Its power. For it reaches, oh, oh, for it reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows. For it reaches, for it reaches. For it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows. From day to day. From day to day. It will never lose its power. 
With our heads bowing and our eyes closed. For those onlineers who are participating with us, whatever you can grab hold of. Amen. Some drink, some water, a piece of biscuit or something. We are going to spiritualize that right now. Mmm. Mmm. Paul said, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may now eat in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. After the same manner, also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as you drink it you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you do show the lord's death till he comes you may now drink in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the Lord's body and blood. But let every man examine himself. Hallelujah. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For ye that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause some are weak, sickly among you, and many sleep. The word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody, close your eyes, raise your hand in your seat. You just ate the Lord's body that was ripped apart by the Romans' rip. You just drank the Lord's blood that spilled from his body. I read he said, five bleeding wounds he bore. See from his head, his hands, his feet. Sorrow and love flow mingling down. Hallelujah. Love so amazing, so divine. Glory to God. Somebody just stand to your feet right now. Where is my organist? Can you lead us? Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, just, just everybody just take a minute and just worship him. Come on, my musician, come on. Oh God, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. God, we are in obedience to your word and your servant. Your word tells us that we must obey the prophet and live. Obey the prophet and live. Oh, God. Oh, God. We praise you. Somebody help me praise the Lord now. Somebody, oh, God. In your office, in your on the job, in your house, uh, around uh, the driving wheel, down the, the highway. Come on, you're tuning in. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He was wounded for our transgression, he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our, our peace was upon him. We are healed. Come on, somebody's healed. 
oh you have just start to experience a miracle a miracle a miracle hallelujah hallelujah somebody praise him somebody shout i'm healed somebody shout i'm delivered jesus makes the difference in my life Jesus, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus Jesus yes yes it's a lengthy day today could you come here sister Brittany come and stand could you come and stand could all our visitors come and stand I want to pray for you briefly I want to cover you yes 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 it cannot be made too much cannot be too many and it flows to the lowest Yes, sing that song. Oh God. Everybody sing with us. Participate. Participate. Don't just be a spectator. Amen. 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 Oh God, it's power. Come on, one last time for it reaches. To the highest. And it flows to the lowest. Oh, that give me strength from day to day. Today, it will never. It's power. Could you grab a hold of your neighbor's hand? Hallelujah. Father, I come to you another Wednesday in appreciation for your mercies and your grace. Lord, among us, Lord, is your worshipers. Some are first-time visitors. Some have come from far abroad and all across this country Lord their faithfulness I ask you to reward them Lord I pray that you will visit everyone whatsoever they came for healing for the body oh God a miracle oh God that no other power can give in the name of Jesus I reach out to you for them now break the silence break the code of the enemy Lord God reveal your power in their lives upon them now in the name of Jesus you are the mighty redeemer you are the never failing God some are sick some are sad others have lost the love they once had some came with tears and sorrow and pain some God don't know what they are going home to but in the name of Jesus it shall be well I speak life I speak life I speak blood coverage the blood of Jesus shall cover shall destroy oh God the yoke in the name of Jesus if any under demonic attack demonic spell your son hallelujah I declare it destroy because of the anointing 
in the name of Jesus Lord your daughter will be leaving us to start working in another country I pray Lord for protection for wisdom knowledge understanding keep our true Lord there's a race she must run and a victory to be won touch her entire body touch the office she will work from her room oh God the bed she sleeps on the food she eats I declare sanctification cover her Lord assign an angel to her in the name of Jesus Lord Lord here is your daughter from the moment she arrived in this country oh god about a month now she has not ceased coming lord the days to return to her family is drawing closer so i pray for divine coverage i pray for a quality flight oh god allow her to take back home the blessing new covenant in the name of jesus guide them we pray anoint them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet I reverse every curse every destruction oh God every parasite of all type I pick them and cut them clear from them now for those who have accepted you as Lord and Savior strengthen them we pray strengthen them we pray and let them walk home rejoicing in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Bishop Evangelist help me anoint them in the name of Jesus cover them we pray Father God the table is laden right now with all kinds of symbols oh God these I pray that you will touch her I pray that you will come to her if you weren't working the table would be empty but God 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 I pray for photo graph uh, water bags clothes uh, oh god olive oil uh, oh god almighty amen amen uh, photograph uh, passport uh, employment oh god oh god uh, hear me hear my call uh, hear me hear my call in the name of jesus every destruction uh, that rise up uh, i quell it now uh, in the name of jesus Jesus Christ, Lord God, you are a never feeling God. Oh God, we call, we plead the blood. Somebody plead the blood. Fast and plead the blood. Fast and plead the blood. Fast and plead the blood. The blood. The blood. The efficacious blood. Oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, for Jesse, our God at university in Canada. Lord God, touch, I pray. Remember nurse notice. Oh God, touch Peter Richards and Kingston. Touch Dr. Ronald Blair and family. Dr. W. Blair and family. Mother Clocking of Linstead and her children. Sister Rita Hines and her family, Sister Pansy, oh God, in the US of A. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for Bishop Neil Morris out of Cayman and God, his family. But I call Samuel name to you in the name of Jesus. Touch Samuel, deliver, set free. I pray for Sasha, oh God, Pauline Harvey, Brother Clifton in the USA, Lord God, Sister Edwards Bull Bear. 
God, God, the greens of Connecticut, the greens of Kiaman, oh God Almighty, Brother Palmer, Connecticut, Lord Gilbert Stewart, oh God in Bronx, his wife, and our soul, Sister Hamilton, Linstead, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the names are many, but I raise them to you now. Oh God, every online worshiper that submit the names, Lord, read them, call the name in dreams. Lord, paper one, paper two, paper three, paper four, paper five, paper six. Lord God Almighty, in the name of of Jesus. Somebody help me plead the blood upon these names, upon these requests. Lose somebody, set somebody free. We drive out cancer. Oh God, chance of the blood, chance of the bone, chance of the throat. Lord God, it is said there are 40 types of cancer. If anyone represent themselves today, I pray a miracle in the name of Jesus. Lord, those who are in the hospital, visit them. Those who are homeless, visit them. Somebody help me now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, these are unspoken requests, but they are on note. Come to somebody point your hand at this podium. We stand on behalf of somebody, somebody sick somebody troubled somebody frustrated somebody Lord God need a breakthrough we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood the blood the blood the blood the trickling blood the flowing blood the efficacious blood ah the destroying blood hey 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 oh lord oh lord oh god we call on you thank you jesus thank you jesus in the name of Jesus, Lord, I command that marriage to return to normalcy. The host that is about to be taken away, I pray that you will return it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, the job seeker, those who are seeking Lord, legal status in first world country. I pray for green card, pink card, oh God, yellow card, whatsoever. Oh God, citizenship in the name of Jesus. Oh God, remember, remember the supporters of this ministry ministry i raise them up to you now lead and direct bless your people you are the prayer answering god we believe you now somebody just worship the lord as you make your way back to your seat somebody worship the lord somebody worship the lord somebody worship him he touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that loves my soul. Come on now. Come with me, my organist. Something. Come on, singers. Don't, don't. Fix them up. Give them sound. And Come on, one more time. He touched me. He touched me. Everybody, everybody. Oh, he touched me. Can you raise your hand? 
and all the joy that flood my soul. Something happened. Something happened. And now. And now. I know. He touched me. He touched me. And made me Just give the Lord a wave offering, right? Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, everywhere. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Glory to your name, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the final thing. And it is said the best Jesus. thing stays for last. It's time to sow. It's time to sow. The beauty about sowing, you receive more in reaping than sowing. Amen. I want you right now, those online, go to the go to the board, go to the information center. So, right now, I'm going to ask everyone right now in the house, take out a special offering. Special than the ordinary. Start coming. Start coming. Start coming in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Start coming. Double up. Glory to your name, Jesus. Double up. He touched me. Touch me. He touched me. Oh, oh he, he touched, touched me. me. Come here, Sister Bennett. And I know the joy. My soul. Something happened. Something happened. And now I know. He touched me. He touched me. And makes. And made me whole. Me whole. Come on, in, somebody. He touched me. He, he touched me. Oh, he touched me. And all the joy. And all the joy that floods flood my soul. My soul. Oh, something happened. Something, something happened. And now I know he touched me. He touched me. He touched me. Oh. oh. He touched me. Hallelujah. And all the joy. And all the joy that bless my soul. Something yeah. happened. Something. Something happened. And now. Get your things together. We are closing now. He touched me. He touched me. Oh. Oh. oh he touched me. Hallelujah. And all the joy. And all the joy that floods my soul. Something happened. Something. Something happened. And now. And meet me, everybody. And then, One last time, he touched me. Oh, he touched me. Oh, he touched me. And all oh, the joy. And all oh, the joy that floods my soul. 
something happened. Something, something happened. And now, and now, I know he touched me. This evening is Bible study. We want you to run home and run back in the name of the Lord. Come and enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Good Friday service will begin at 8 right here. And we finish by 10. Come out and let's enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Also, in the evening at 6 o'clock, there will be a grand concert. As we return to your traditional Good Friday concert, two of Jamaica's finest artists along with some rising star from the region will be ministering. The cost is $2,000 for the ticket and two five at the gate. Come. Amen. For it, it is, as we prepare for this program, we want to inform our onliners that there is a special arrangement made for you to join us to pay with just two twenty dollars US to access to the live stream of this fundraising event. Amen. Your contribution goes a long way in supporting our ministry endeavor. To join us for this special service, please click the link that is pinned to the YouTube chat and comment section and follow the provided instruction to submit and submit your forms to be a part of a special, special event. We want you to support it. It is self-explanatory and prepare just 20 US dollars it goes a long way. You will be live, joining us live, and to enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Amen. As many as possible. I know that is, that is chicken feed. So, it's worthwhile to spend a chicken feed with us and enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Amen. And Sunday, two services, two hours each, and we want to be out Sunday evening will be Lord's Supper and feet washing. Come and see the spectacular event. On Monday at uh, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock will be a special banquet here. Five star style. The cost for a ticket is $5,000. Amen. Come, enjoy it. It was great last year and it's going to be greater sweeter and better this year. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the gifts your people have given, sanctified to the purpose for which it is raised. Lord, ever giver, I pray for a blessing in return. Every need supplied in the name of Jesus. Let, oh God, your abundant blessing sit upon every worshiper in the house or online as we continue to seek your face. Go with us safely in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you just call your children's name right now? Father, I cover our children. Olivia, Oriel, Lily and sister. Oh God, Kay. Oh God, and the rest of them. Fantasia. Oh God, Christian and all of them, I commit them in your hands. I commit, commit every man's child in your hands for protection, for, for provision, for blessing, for, for curse to go, mighty God almighty. Any trap of the devil, any precipice, oh God, any Delilah spirit with intention enticing words and looks that want to destroy oh god any gang any scheme that they are in we pull them out in the name of jesus and we re release the blood 
blessing of God on them. If any sick in body, I pray for healing. Cover with children. Cover with picnic them, God. Cover with picnic. Cover, 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 cover. Keep them from rapists, from a doctors uh, keep them from bad-minded people witchcraft workers iniquity workers oh god uh, oh god dog oh god the, the demons and devil that eat with them and sleep with them we run them to the pit of hell any that is not sober let them be sober any that is intoxicated, oh, deliver them now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. I come on. I won't, I don't make two mistakes, the same mistake twice. All is well for everybody around there. Everybody. But do something for me. Just stretch your hand and take half a minute and pray for me. Yes, man. Half a minute. Lord, I need your touch. From head to toe. God, in every department of my life. Lord, the people complain to Moses. Moses has no one else but to complain. I cry to you, Lord. Whatever it is. You know. Listen to the cry of your people. Touch my family. Touch your servant. Give me another anointing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch the car. Sister Rob car. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing and answering. In Jesus' name. Father, Father, I wrap my hand around my daughter. She's standing on behalf of her sister who will be doing a surgery. I pray right now for a touch upon her body. Your power is available and can cancel that surgery. But if you choose otherwise, I pray for a successful surgery. Touch the surgeons, the supporting nurse and staff and bring about closure in the name of Jesus. Touch your daughter, we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Shake somebody's hand. For those who want to shake my hand, let it stay until next week. In Jesus' name.